All right, we think we're back live. We, we apologize for the problem we're having, technical difficulties. Arvid Woodard working on the computer. We uh, had to go from C Spire to AT&T. Uh, Mustangs are going to kick off. Did we win the toss or defer? We won the toss and we deferred. Okay. We were working on the computer, so I didn't see that. Uh, so... We're working on top of press box tonight. Sharesh Chal is running the camera. On the mic with me is Jody Simcox, Arvid Reuter running the computer. We've got a coach from East Rankin right beside us. He's going to give us some commentary tonight too, I think. So he said he'd try to keep his mouth clean for us tonight. We've got Fox TV here broadcasting this game tonight, uh, feminine for the game of the week. Uh, got their live stream on the press box, two radio operators, and and hope we don't fall off backwards, Jody. I'll tell you what, that's exactly right, because we're too high up to fall. Yeah. So we're getting ready for the uh, National Anthem invocation. Lamar's come out. They're lined up on the sideline. Pilla has not come out from behind the thing yet. Clock shows five minutes, 30 seconds to go. Here comes Pilla out on the field. So we're going to be broadcasting from the best spot we can. Jody and I will be hung up behind some people, but we'll bring it to you the best we can. Again, pull us six and six. Lamar's eight and three. Coming in for the right to play in the state championship. The winner of this game will advance on the state championship. I think it's next Thursday, Jody. I think I, that's right. 2.30 yeah, kickoff, I believe. Yep, 2.30 next Thursday. So <laughs> one of us will be making the trip to Jackson uh, to face the winner of Mac Heights and Simpson. Uh, got some camera work going on down here trying to get it level and bring you the best we can. So we're getting ready for the national anthem. We're going to hang our headsets and let you listen to that. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for our invocation and national anthem. Tonight's invocation will be given by Raider sophomore Hannah Beth Stevenson. Hannah Beth is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. David Stevenson. Tonight's national anthem will be sung by Raider senior Katie Schaefer. She is the daughter of Mr. Charles Schaefer and Ms. Rebecca Schaefer. Please bow, please bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for this day you have given us. Thank you for letting everyone get here safely. I pray that you keep everyone safe during the game and on the way home too. Let all the players play for your glory and have good sportsmanship. Amen. Outstanding. Good job. Good job on the National Anthem there in prayer. Fireworks are going off. We got about three. Well, they just set the clock to 12 minutes, so we're going to kick quickly. Got a wet field tonight, Jody. It rained here, I think, till mid afternoon. And a uh, lot of water standing on the sidelines, standing on the field in spots. Not a good night to be a cheerleader, I tell you what. No, it's not. It's kind of a mud pit down there. It is. I saw some of theirs getting boots on. I see some of them yeah. didn't have any boots. I see some white tennis shoes that are going to be mighty dirty for them. They won't make it till the end of the first quarter, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. So we're getting ready for high school football. Friday night here in Meridian, Mississippi. Lamar School versus Pillow Academy. 
for the right to go to the state championship. It's a cool, brisk evening tonight. Uh, we uh, officials are getting warmed up. Lamar's on the on the field. They're running their kickoff receiving. They got back 15 Brooks Brock, 22 George Arrington, and uh, I believe that's 10 over in it. Horatio Wilson on the far side, I believe. Jody, we're right. getting a confirmation from the coach here. Yeah, he's gonna help right. us tonight. Good help up here. On the kickoff for the Mustangs is Jaden Simcox. Ball will be placed in the middle. He places right in the middle of the field on the 40 yard line. Well, Still be a tough kick in the middle of the field. Gonna be tough to plant that left foot. Yep, it is. It's some, uh, it's some worn out spots in the middle of that field in a couple of places. It's, you can tell it's been wet. Out there. Been wet all year in some spots here. Uh, we've had a ton of rain on our field. And you can tell that they have here. Officials blowing the whistle. Jaden looks to his left, right, says he's ready to go. Approaches the ball. Got a good high kick going to the right side. Going to be fielded and go in the end zone. Going to be touched back. Got yeah, fielded right call. at the goal line, and it goes back in the end zone, which in high school rules yeah, is automatic touchback. So the Raiders will take over to the 20-yard line. Good kick, had the wind behind him, That's wind right. is blowing out of that direction. Kind of glad to see us start off with the wind at our back, really, Bill. I, I'd rather start that way than finish sure. that way, I believe. Our cameraman's having trouble with his glasses over where he can't focus on the camera. He's got them all rubbing on his jacket. So if it's out of focus, we'll get him in. Just let me know. I don't know that I'll be able to look at my phone much tonight, but shoot me a text if you're out there watching, 662-299-0775. I ain't got anywhere to lay it out tonight. Big old tall receiver over on this side, Bill. He is number six. He's on the program at 6'5", 182. Gosh. He's uh, got 29 receptions on the year. Their leading receiver is 13, Jacob Patrick, with 50 receptions. Hmm. Officials sending out number six. He had on a headband. Uh, seen quite a few equipment send outs this year. I saw him standing down there at the National Anthem. He had the headband on. Remember last game or our last home game, they sent out one with some armband, wristbands that were up high. They hand it off right in the middle the first time. He's going to be tripped up and gain about four yards on the play, it looks like. Sam Harris, I believe, tripped him up coming through. Dalton Nelson on the carry. Dalton Nelson, he's their leading rusher, 133 rushes on the year for 684 yards. The average is 5.1 yards a carry. They get... Pat and Matt back in the ball game out there substitution deal. Two receivers right, one left, guy in the backfield. A hand in the middle again. He's hit, bakes off the tackle, comes up and gonna gain up to about the 28. Gonna be brought down by Floyd Melton. Our defensive tackle blew up their guy and hit him in the back, knocked their guy to him in the backfield, but he bounced off of him and gonna get up to the 28 yard line, bring up third down and two for the Patriots. Raiders, I mean, excuse me. Got two receivers right, same set, hand in the middle again. He's going to be stopped. I think you're right. Got the ball on the ground. Lake Jaquelli's picked it up. Fischel threw the black bag down like bean bag, and Lake's picked it up. So I'm assuming it's going to be a turnover. The bean bag Come came on. in. Give us a call here. They're not. Evidently not. Be fourth down for the Raiders. The head official threw the black bean bag, but they're not saying the ball is back at the 26 yard line, so it'll bring up third down and four. Head official threw the bean bag, but I guess one of the other officials said he was down. Big Let, stop, nice start for the Mustang defense. Yep. Great way to kick off this ball game. Back to receive as Jack Reichley punts away. Got a side kick off to right. Everybody's getting out of the way. Ball's going to bounce down to about the 40, 39, on down to about the 38 yard line. So the Mustangs will take over the ball with 10 minutes and 14 seconds to go in the first quarter. At the 38-yard line, be their first possession of the ball. Coming out is Wade Smith at center. Um, got Noah Woodard to guard. Uh, got Hunter Taylor at right tackle. Left guard to be Dwayne Jones. And left tackle to be DeAndre Hoover. Shane Stevens operated quarterback. Jacob Bush up back. Floyd back. Set, set back right beside Shane Stevens. Lake to Kelly deep. Uh, Jaden Simcox wide left. And Breck Bowling wide right. 
two receivers with three backs in the backfield beside Shane Stevens. They hand it to Floyd Melton in the middle, and he's hit just immediately. He's going to gain nothing. Floyd Melton carries for the Mustang. I'm going to lose about a half yard on the play, bring up second down and long 10, long 10, short 11. Loses about a yard, second down 11. Shane Stevens waiting on a snap, fakes it to Lake J. Kelly. Shane Stevens is going to get hit in the backfield. Guy came blitzing from the right side. Lake J. Kelly didn't pick it up. Shane's going to be tackled all the way Notice back close to the 26-yard line. That's William Lamar on the tackle. He's our leading tackler to other, for the Raiders. So the ball's back at the 26. It was at the 38, so that's 12 B. Third down and 22. Got two two wide right, two wide left. Floyd Mountain in the backfield. They walk a guy up on the right side like they're blitzing him again. That's number three, William Lamar out there. It's the one they brought from the right while ago. And all he drops back in coverage. Shane Stevens looking to throw it down the field. And Jack Reichley falls down. Pass is going to fall incomplete. Pass incomplete. Oh, Whitfield coming into play in a hurry. And yep, Jack's feet went out from under him as he went to make luck. the cut. So it's going to bring up fourth down and 22 for the Mustangs. Back to punt is Jaden Simcox. Back to receive for Lamar is number 13, Jacob Patrick, 5'9", 148, 11th grader. Jody, I looked, they got about 15 wide receivers on their roster. Yeah, yeah. Jaden Simcox gets the punt away. Had a little pressure on him. Good punch. Fair catch call for it to 46-yard line. Jaden Simcox punted the ball for the Mustangs. So the Mustangs lose some yardage on the on the possession of punts. Actually lose Mark about 20 yards on that exchange, Jody. Exactly and right. Well, I'll tell you what. At the Mustangs, we'll have that ball out there at half midfield. At the yep. Josh the Moore is operating on the defensive line. For us. Gage Gamble on defensive line. DeAndre Hoover. Blake J. Kelly at a safety. Floyd Melton at a safety. Linebackers of Seth Hollis, Sam Harris, and Laws McCoo. Quarterback looking to pass. Those out in the flat, and it's high. Falls incomplete. Hutchinson pass Harris was intended for number, to number 13, Jacob Partridge. Mustangs are playing with Jack Reichley at safety. Floyd Melton at a strong safety. Lake Jaquelli at a strong safety. Cornerbacks are Gavin Leslie and, that, and Alex Lindsay. Bring up second down and 10. All on the 46-yard line. Quarterback when he got a run to the right side. It's smelled out and turned back inside. He cuts back inside. Going to get up to midfield, maybe just over it. Brooks Brock on the carry. Uh, Sam Harris had done a good job out there to turn him back in and not give him the edge, and he turned, he did cut back and picked up about four on the plate. The ball spotted at the 50-yard line. Bring up third down and six for the Raiders. Raiders come to the line of scrimmage. With three backs on the right side, one split left, one back to the left of the quarterback. Mustangs are back near three man front. Quarterback looking to throw, throws out in the pads, complete uh, to number six out here. He's gonna have first down yardage down to about the 40, maybe 39 yard line, depending on the spot. They're gonna spot him on the 40 yard line, just barely over the 40 yard line. Pass was complete out in the flat. Alex Lindsay on coverage for the Mustangs makes a tackle. Nothing real fancy, just a quick toss and catch there, Bill. Yep, it was. Just a little out pattern caught into him. Tough to defend that short ball. They like come that. with two receivers left, two receivers right this time. One to slot, the two ends are split out on the line of scrimmage. Mustang's still in a three-man front. Guy goes in motion from right to left. Quarterback's looking to the right in the flat to throw him. Sitting up down. He's got some time looking back. Scrambles around again. Got some running room coming around the end. Going to step out of bounds somewhere about the 27, 28-yard line. He just had all day to throw it. Lake Jaquelli runs him out. They're going to spot it down close to the 27-yard line. He did a good job. He looked right. He looked down the field. He looked back left. He scrambled right. He came back left and had some running room on the edge out there. Tell you what, six foot six and all that experience, he's going to be a tough one now. He's, yep. He showed it right there. He's. Yep. Defensive cool backs did a good job coverage. Our three linemen rushing. They got to run into the left side. 
going to be hit hard there by uh, Seth Hollis, gain of about one on the play. Sam Harris in on the tackle, too. Dalton Nelson on the carry. Picks up the yard. Tackle Seven minutes, Seth 20 seconds Hollis. running in the first quarter. Score nothing to nothing. Right. The Raiders do not operate a huddle. They're looking at the sideline for the coach to signal in the signals. They come with two receivers left. I mean, now they walk the back guy in the back. That's actually number 55 in the backfield for him, Shelton Gray. Uh, they pulled him to the right, quarterback's rolling to the right. They uh, got a pass is incomplete down there. Whew. I would have. 55 went downfield blocking. I thought they were going to run, Jody, on that one. Yeah. The pass yeah, was sure incomplete. He, he was way downfield. I don't know that, that rule on that Joseph lineman downfield, but he sure was. Yep. It was, yeah, uh, I thought it was going to be a running play. They threw it to the corner end zone. Falls, falls incomplete. So bring up third down and nine for the Raiders. Good looking pass. That quarterback kind of dropped it right in the bread basket yep, there. Yep. It hit the guy kind of on the hands and went off. Sometimes the worst place to throw it. Yep. They operate with three receivers right, one receiver left, guy in the backfield beside him. They fake it to the guy coming left. They throw it out in the flat to him. The ball is tipped by Josh Moore to fall incomplete. Good job. Guy coming out of the backfield was wide open. Josh Moore did a good job getting his hands up and tipping that ball, so it's going to bring up four down and nine. The ball at the 25. It's looking like they're going to go for it. It's four down territory. Madden would be hard to kick on that field right there, Jody. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, like I say, I'd be hesitant to plant my left foot out there. Yep. No, it'd be, it'd be 26, be 36 and 7, 43 yard field goal, and it's real muddy where it is. They substitute out, bring another back in. Got two receivers left, two right, one on the left is in the slot. Pass out in the right flat is complete. He's going to be hit, but it looks like they're going to call him short here. It looks like short, so it looks like it may be turned over on down. Must, Gavin Leslie makes a stop, going to be short of the first Good down. Good job, Mustang. Mustangs turn them over on downs. Take over the ball at about the 18-yard line. First down and 10, come out with the same offense we have. Got two receivers right, two receivers left. Floyd Melton's playing Shane Stevens. They split their ends out real wide, walk the line back up in like they're blitzing. They hand it to Floyd Melton up the middle, got some running room, cuts it outside. Floyd's going to be tackled from behind. Uh, nice going to be up to about Floyd. the 36-yard line. Good run. We had a little crossing in the backfield, kind of mixed it up. Good blocking. He did a good job of reading his blocks. Guy, Ray the daylight. Yeah, guy closed from him quick behind. I thought he was going to have a little more running room there than he was. Six minutes and 26 seconds to go. Referee winds the clock out to first down. Mustang's got three receivers left, one wide right. Breck Bowling being the receiver to the right. Shane Stevens gets snapped, fakes it to Floyd Melton, looks to throw. Got some pressure, throws it toward the sidelines, intended for Jaden Simcox, but out of bounds. Shane did a good job of getting rid of that ball. He had pressure coming on him. Nice work by the Raider defensive front. Pass incomplete. Second, Second down and 10 for the Mustangs. Clock stopped with. Six minutes and 11 seconds. Arvid's trying to run a clock on the screen for us tonight. If it doesn't, we'll keep trying to give it to you. Shrest Chala's operating camera. Jody Simcox on the mic with me. Second down and 10. Snaps back Shane Stevens. He looks left quick. He hits Jack Reichley in the flat out there. Jack was trying to get outside, but turned it back inside to get first down yardage. The ball's going to be shot at, spotted just short of midfield. Nice catch. Nice play. Get that first down. Let's move those chains, Mustangs. So, got a message from Matt Neme working good so far. Jim Phillips good. Miss Towns from uh, Ridgeland is watching. Alex's grandmama. So, thank you and thank you all for the sponsors. They'll be running a little later uh, on their screen for us. First down and 10. Shane Stevens waiting. Pitches of Jack Reichley coming in motion on the right. Going to have a flag called in there for holding. Jack's going to be run out of bounds at about the 40-yard line, but that one's going to come back. There was a holding call. They'll bring the Mustangs back on that one. 
Referee threw the flag up about the 50, moved it back to about the 49, right where the ball was spotted. So he'll carry it back to the third line. So Mustangs hurt herself there, making first down and 20. We had a sack on the first series that gave us long yardage. We didn't respond to it. We didn't do anything to help ourselves here. We need to test that crew, though, make sure they're paying attention out there. Yep. Mustangs have got two receivers left, two receivers right. Lamar's got five up on the defensive line. They walk them up wide from outside like they're blitzing. Uh, comes one from the left, one to the right. Black out. Shane Steven throws it. Jaden Simcox just right over tip of his hand. Shane had pressure on him and just heaved it. Tough luck. And uh, Shane, Jaden was trying to get his hand out there but couldn't quite get his feet, fingertips on it. Bring up third, second down in 20. Five minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. No score. Got two receivers left, two receivers white. Shane Stevens looks out to right to Jaden Simcox. He catches it and going to be driven out of bounds at about the inside of uh, Raider territory to 48-yard line. So it'll bring up third down and about seven for the Mustangs. Clock will stop with five minutes, 23 Davis seconds to go. Complete to Jaden Simcox. Tackles by John Houston Gordy. Third down. Mustangs eight. looking to coach Ball McCarty on the sideline for the signal. He's standing back behind the line. Mustangs never operate out of a huddle. Got trips to the right. One receiver left. Floyd Melton in the backfield beside Shane Stevens. Wade Smith snapping the ball. Shane Houston gets the snap, looks out left. It's Jaden Simcox, first down yardage. Jaden breaks the first tackle. And uh, Jaden's going to get first down yardage somewhere down about the 38 yard line or 37, depending on the spot. Good pass out there, Jody. That's good play, White. Good pick up that first down. That's uh, nothing wrong with moving the chains. Yep. I'm going to step in front of you a second, Jody, yeah, so we can see there. You're good. taller than me. We're good. So, got first down and 10. Ball's just inside the 40-yard line. Spotted 39-yard line are Lamar Raiders. Got tight end set in this time. They hand it to Lake Jaquelli up the middle. Lake's going to get some running room, get up to about the 35-yard line, gain about four yards on the play. Came in with the tight package there with Jacob Bush at the up back. John Floyd Dunn playing a tight end. Mustangs. Breck Bowling split far left. Second down. At the wide receiver, Lake Jaquelli coming in motion to the right side. Shane Stevens waiting him to get set. Looks, gets does. They hand it to Floyd Melton in the middle. Floyd bounces outside and slips. Going to be just Tough short of first, about Tough a yard luck. short of first down. Mm, mm, mm. Dry field, he'd had first down on that one. I he believe. would have. Yeah, his feet came mm. out from under him on that one. Well, we got first down, I mean, third down and one. The ball spotted at the 30 yard line inside Lamar Raider territory. Mustang still in the two tight package. Move Lake G. Kelly out in the slot on the left. Floyd Melton goes to the left side. They hand it to Floyd. He's got some running room over the right side, driving on down. Going to be down close to the 20 yard line for first down yardage for the Mustangs. Looks like the official's going to spot it right on the 20 yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 with four minutes and one seconds to go in the first quarter. No score. Mustangs started this drive at the. Uh, you remember the yard line, Jody? We stopped them down there on downs inside the 10. 18 yard line, our cameraman said. He's doing right. a better job tonight right. than I am keeping up. Mustangs have moved it from the 18 to the 20. Our 18 to their 20. Shane Stevens pitches his leg to Kelly, looking to throw the pass. He drops the ball, going to get hit, gets the ball back, going to be knocked back at the 30-yard line. Was attempting the halfback pass. The ball came out of his hand. Tough look. He did a good job to get it back, going to spot it at the 29-yard line, so it's going to be a loss of nine yards. He showed that pass, and I looked downfield at Breck. Breck was clean as whistle down there. Yep. On about the two-yard line, heading into the end zone, wide open. Tough luck. Yep, so I bring up second down in 19. Clock running three minutes and 15 seconds in the first quarter. Mustangs have got three receivers left. Alex Lindsley and, and Jack Reichley out there in the slot. They fake it to Floyd Melton. Shane Stevens takes it up the middle. We're going to have a flag here late coming in. He was down close to the 15-yard line. 
Referee threw a flag that's going to drop it at about the 28-yard line where the line of scrimmage was. So I'm sure that one's coming back for holding, so it'll bring up about the second down and 29 then. They're looking to the referee over here. My coach, what he wants to do, he said, yeah, take them back. So going to bag it up. Three minutes and one second to go in the first quarter. No score. Mustangs got a second down and 29 to go. Ball's back at the 38-yard line. So it'll be 28 yards to go. We had it at the – no, it's 38 yards to go. Just to say, it's a second down, a smooth quarter mile. It looks yep, like – it is. Second down and 38 for the Mustangs. Shane Stevens looking to throw. He throws it out in the flat. Ball's caught at the 30-yard line. Got flags coming down where he's caught. May have a face mask over on that. Yeah, far side. Doing them, is that Jack Rikley on the catch? I can't see. Yeah, yeah, okay. that is correct. So I think going to be a face mask in there. It's ball spotted at the 30 yard line. Two flags came in on the other side. Waiting on the official to give us a signal there, marking it off against Lamar. Got a personal foul, face mask. So it'll go from the 30 down to the 15 yard line. Uh, really went from 30 to the, just shy of the 15. So it'll bring up second down. Second down and about six to go for the Mustangs. 242 left, be nice to slip one in here for the end of the quarter. It would be. Mustang to bring in four receivers out to this side, to the right side, Shane Stevens looking to the other side. This is a new one, got to add a wrinkle here. It is. Playoff week, had we? Yep. Shane Stevens looking to the left for Jaden Simcox. He's gonna have a pass interference over there. Flags come from all directions. He, he grabbed him. He grabbed him right as he went to turn. You can see him grab his jersey and three officials threw the flag. Ball, flags were thrown around the two or three yard line. Mustangs send their tight end package back in. It's gonna be first down and something. Let's see where it'd be spotted. Pass interference against the pass was caught, so the Mustangs are gonna take the, the take the catch and be first down and goal at the three yard line. Yep. There we go. Come on, Mustangs. Let's punch it in here. Smart football. Yep. Got our two tight or one tight package in with three in the backfield. We got a whistle here before it goes. Got offside on the defense, I believe is what he's calling. It's official over here on the right. It looks like he called encroachment on the defense. It All is, so it'll be half the distance goal. Take it to the one and a half yard line. Be first down and goal from the one. Let's dial up number 10 here, see what we get. Yep. See if we can Jacob Bush is your back. Lake Kelly is your deep back. Floyd Melton standing right beside Shane Stevens. Oh. They hand it Floyd Melton over the left side. He go. takes Way it to in the zone Mustangs. for a touchdown. Touchdown. Yep. Way to go, White. Mustangs go up six to nothing with a minute and 49 seconds to go in the first quarter. Had a 82-yard uh, drive. One and a half yard touchdown run. We give him a two-yard touchdown run there on that go. one. That would be a 82-yard drive for the Mustang. My hand about the cold. It won't write, Jody. Glad you got the pin. <laughs> Gavin Leslie on attempt to extra point. Shane Stevens holding the, the waiting on the snap. He'll be the holder. Snap. His back snap was behind him. He gets it down. Kick is up and good. Shane Stevens did a good job of reaching to his right and pulling that ball back around. So the Mustangs go up seven to nothing with a minute and 49 to go in the first quarter. Good drive. 
good drive really there by the Mustangs. Had some right, penalties man. both ways, hurt us and helped us on that one. So, uh, but the Mustangs took it 82 yards. After fine stop on fourth down to turn it over on downs. Lamar's got their kick receiving team already out. Pillow's kick team is huddled up around Coach Beagle. So Lamar's got back deep there. Uh, got a back tight to the sideline to talk to his coach about something. That's number 15, Brooks Brock. So I got a... Uh, Got messages sounding good. Go, go, Bill. Go, Mustangs. Columbus says loud and clear. Uh, got a message in from one that says, "Ask them to focus a little." Uh, video and audio coverage are very good. Right, so, to kick I, off. I don't know. Go one, Mustang. one's got said it needed focus. I got four <laughs> says it's good. So we're gonna go with the four is good. But thank you, Sharesh, for the shine, fine job you're doing on the camera. Sharesh made an effort to get here tonight for us. We're going to talk to him in a little bit of halftime about an honor his son got today, and his son's got to be up the road in the morning early, so couldn't come, and Shresh made an effort to be here to run the camera for us. Kicks away. Ball's going to hit it to five and bounce in the end zone. It kind of went in between two of their backs. Nobody filled it, rolled out the back of the end zone, so it'll be first down and 10 at the 20-yard line. I like that touchback. Yep. I like to take that return game out of out of the equation. Yep. You know, when they get it wet field, you know, you just never know what Mike. Yep. Twenty yard, happen. twenty yard line, not a bad place to make them start from. No, no chance of a big play on you there. They come with three receivers right, one, one to the left, one in the backfield. Mustangs running the three man front. They hand in the middle. Gage Gamble blows it up, and the guy's gonna be tackled there by Seth Hollis and Josh Moore. At about a yard gain or half yard gain, depending on the spot. Gaze Gamble just blew that one up going in Nelson the backfield. Bring up second down and nine. Clock running with a minute and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Mustangs leading seven to nothing. They come with two receivers right, two left to in, on the left side, the receiver on the inside, and a slot back out to him on the outside. Quarterback looking to right, quick throw. Uh, Gavin Leslie falls down. The guy's got some running room for first down yardage. And gonna be run out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Gavin Leslie slipped over playing cornerback. Quarterback picked it off quickly. There's just not much change in direction in a hurry tonight. No, it's not. This field's very wet and soft. It rained here till late afternoon and it's water standing everywhere in a very sloppy field. So it's gonna be a lot of feet coming out from you. Mustangs again operating out of the three-man front. Laws McCoo moves back inside. Mustangs are going to jump off sides. Flags down. Be making first down and five for Lamar. Offsides against the Mustangs. First down five. Ball at the 45. 40. First down and five, minute 11 seconds to go in the first quarter, clock. Stopped out there to penalty. Official starts the play clock, 25 seconds. Mustang lineup, three man front. They got three receivers left this time. Quarterback looking to throw it out in the left, flat, and the ball hits the guy in, the back, in his hands and he just drops it. It was intended for number nine, Jake Davidson. Uh, hit him on his fingertips and just dropped it there. So it's bring up second down and five from the 40 yard line. Clock stop with a minute and eight seconds to go. Got two receivers left, two right. Quarterback looking to throw to right. He throws it in a hurry. Got first down yardage out there. He's going to be tackled at about the 46-yard line. Gavin Leslie tackled him close. Quickly after he caught it, 12, I believe it was 12, Benjamin Bryan on the catch. If I can see the number right. Uh, maybe looking at that number on. Partridge, first down Excuse Raiders. me, that was Partridge Gavin 13. Lamar's looking to sideline the coach. He's signaling to play. They do first like Pillow. Do not Raiders. operate out of a huddle. And first down 46. and 10. Ball at the 46 yard line. Still in Raider territory. Mustangs in the three man front. They fake it to the left, throw it out in the flat, a little screen. Laws McCoo comes up and tackles number six for them. Pat and Matt, 
Ball's going to be right at midfield, so gain about four on the play. Bring up second down and six. Clock running with 44 seconds to go in the first quarter. Second down, six. Ball at midfield. Lamar's looking to the sideline. Do not operate out of the huddle. They're all bunched up like which way do we go? They're going to send three receivers to the right. Got one in the backfield beside the quarterback. Got one wide receiver left. Quarterback's going to hand it in the middle. He read it. DeAndre Hoover just smells it out, and the guy's going to get tackled for no loss. Quarterback ran a little read option on that. Thought he had something there and handed it off, and uh, that was number one, Dalton Nelson on the carry. But DeAndre okay. Hoover stayed right. home and smelled yeah. that one. So I thought DeAndre was going to take the handoff there for a second. Yeah. Third down. Third down and five or six to go That's for the, the end, of the, end of the first quarter. We're going to let Harvard run some commercials, and we'll be right back. Thanks to our sponsors for sponsoring this game tonight. All right, we back live. Uh, had our sponsors running around. Thanks to all our sponsors for bringing us the game. Indeed. Tonight, folks, we appreciate to, it. We have to pay the MIS to be able to broadcast this. Third down and about six to go for the Raiders at the midfield. They hand it in the middle. DeAndre Hoover, and our quarterback pulls it out. He's going to get first down yardage. DeAndre so Hoover took the running back. He run a little option. Hutchinson kept it and going to get first down yardage by about a half a yard or better. Ball's going to be spotted close to the 43-yard line. First down and 10, clock running with 11 minutes, 50 seconds to go. Start the second quarter. Mustangs up 7 to nothing. Lamar comes out with two receivers left, two receivers right, one in the backfield. Quarterback's waiting on a snap. He's dropping deep, fakes it, throw, throws, pumps downfield. We're going to have a flag here, Gavin Leslie. He gotten tied up with their receiver intended for Jacob Patrick. So we're going to be pass interference on the Mustangs. Yeah. Quarterback took a pump. I don't know if Gavin took the pump, fake or whatever, and then the guy went to go and he caught him or whatever. I looked down there and he was tied up with him. Yeah, I think so. I think he made that inside move on the pump. And when he when he broke back to the outside, Gavin knew he'd been had. So Gavin stopped Liz, the touchdown, gave yeah. up the penalty and stopped the touchdown possibly. Yep, Gavin Leslie goes out. Coach McCarty's talking to him. Jaden Simcox comes in to play that cornerback spot. Alex First Lindsay down, playing the right Raider. corner. Jaden Simcox be at the left. Mustang, Christian Belt playing free safety. Blake Jekelly in at a safety. Floyd Melton at the safety. Linebackers are Sam Harris, Seth Hollis, and Laws McCoo. Down lineman to DeAndre Hoover, Gage Gamble, and Josh Moore. Two receivers left, two receivers right. Quarterback handed to the right side. DeAndre Hoover just crashes down the line, hits him hard. Going to be a gain about one on the play. Good job, DeAndre. He did a good job of fighting off his block here and crashing down Nelson on it. Carries. Bring up DeAndre second down and nine. On the tackle. Picks up the yard, second down and nine. A substitute number three for nine. That's William Lamar coming in. He's got 28 receptions on the year. He goes wide left. We got a guy kind of walked in like a tight end on the left side. They hand it to the right side. Got some running room over there, but going to be stopped short of the 20-yard line. Nice hard run by Brooks Brock. Going to bring it. Looks like they're going to spot it somewhere around the 22. So he gained about five on that play. So it's going to bring up third down and about four for Lamar. Ball 
Would be in four down territory. Down, Ball spotted at the 22 yard line. All right, White. Let's do it here. We got Fence. Same offensive set for him. Quarterback's waiting on the snap. Got it. He's looking to right to throw out in the flat in a hurry. Uh, got Jaden Simcox missed the tackle. Laws McCoo gets out of the ball. He's going to be down 21 yard line. First in. First down yardage for Lamar. He gets the ball out quick in a hurry to those flats. It's just a snap it to me. Let's throw out in a flat route. Well, you sure see where he's picking up the completions. Yep. Uh, over the course of the season. It's, yep. Uh, Good yardage here. Just chipping away at it. Uh, Thank you, Jaden. It got a lick on him. He may not got the first down yardage, but he, he kind of missed him, caught him by the ankle, and he was able to pick up yardage. His law was cool. Hit him. Blitz is coming to the left side. Quarterback trying to take it in. He's big and strong, takes it on down to the 15-yard line, so he's going to gain a yard and maybe a yard and a half on the play. Yeah, Sam Harris did a good job of reading that when he came crashing hard. Yep, he did. Laws McCool came in the blitz from the outside to the right. So ball's just over the 15-yard line, just barely inside of it. Second down, nine. Nine minutes, 34 seconds to go in the second quarter. Mustangs up seven to nothing. Joseph Hutchin looks to the sideline. Quarterback 6'6", 200-pound senior. Hey, turn over here, White. Yep, Mustangs go with a three-man front. They got a tight package this time. Two backs up in the inside. We shoot a blitz. He's looking to the right to throw. Pass is complete down at about the two-yard line. What a catch. That was a good catch. That was an awful good catch. Number 13, Jacob Partridge, came back. He just kind of caught it back behind him. It was just a slant into the inside. They showed a power run to the left and came back with the pass, a slant to the inside. So the Raiders have it first down and goal at the three-yard line. Goal from the three. Again, they got two up backs in the backfield, number 55, Shelton Gray in the backfield. Black quarterback's taken to the right. He's going to get hit and be stopped short, probably gain about a yard on the play around the two-yard line. The He's hit by line. DeAndre Hoover and Sam Harris on that play. They're bringing in 15, Brooks Brock on the play. Coming out is number one, Dalton Nelson. Dalton's their leading rusher. Brooks Brock goes in the backfield beside the quarterback. And they again got the two tight package. Uh, they handed the 15 on the outside. He's being chased to the outside. Jack Rockley's got his hand Good on him, gonna drop him for about a yard loss, maybe on the play. Good job, Jack. Tough play over there. 15 Brooks Brock was trying to get it wide, but Jack Rockley's speed allowed him to get out there. Gonna drop it back to about to the somewhere around the two yard line, it looks like. So third down and goal from the two. That's a tough defensive play Jack just made. That's it was. He did a good really job. Good. The guy got to the edge of the line and had nobody, nothing out there but play yeah, dirt. just one-on-one, on one and Jack was. beat him to it. That's exactly it did. right. Great job. They're still looking at the coach for the signal. He signals it in. They're in the same package set they were. Quarterback's waiting on a snap, hands it. He's looking to throw this time, passes out in the flat to the right. It's overthrown a little bit. The receiver was falling backwards as he tried to catch it, so it's going to bring up fourth down and goal from the two. All right, what are they going to do, Bill? Yep. They uh, seven minutes and 32 seconds to go in the second quarter. Fourth down and two. Big, big down here for the Mustangs. Yep. Number 13 got a lot of room to work with over here to the outside if they elect to throw to him yep. in the flats. Jaden Simcox is in coverage on him. There's nobody else. Quarterback looking to throw. He fakes the throw. He takes it up off the middle and going to dive it in. He faked the pass to the right and then ran the quarterback draw in the middle for the touchdown. Yep. He did a good job. Did. It was a good play by him. Fireworks go off. I want to be the attempt to extra point for them would be Jake Davidson, who's 38 of 45 on the year coming into the night. So it's a wet field. They, uh, the snapper's walking to the sideline to throw something to the sideline. I don't know what it was he threw over here, but he's headed back out. Official still not started the play clock. On the hole is number 15, Brooks Brock. Ball will be spotted at the 10 yard line for the extra point. He uh, kicks up and kicks good. Sure he is. 
So the score tied 7-7 seven, seven, with seven minutes and 27 James seconds Davidson to go. And it's good. All right, got a ball game here. We do. Well, that had been. Yep, we had a good chance here. They pulled a good good drive on fourth down there. Good call by them for a quarterback draw. Uh, he'd run it first two plays, didn't do nothing. Had an incomplete pass on the third down and faked that quick pass to the outside. We went with it and quarterback ran a draw for a pretty play. Uh, so the scores tied seven to seven. Mustangs need to get this ball, Jody, back and take it down the field and drive. That's exactly right. Get this momentum back in the in the Mustangs possession. Yep. Mustangs are going to send back. Uh, looks like Jaden Simcox and Jack Reichley back deep on the kicking team. Up back will be Alex Lindsay and Christian Belt. Laws McCool and Josh Moore on the next line. On the kickoff for the Raiders is Jake Davidson. He spots the ball right in the middle of the field. Drops back and gets in about a six yard drop. A lot different than we saw in the Washington kicking. Yeah. yeah. He approaches the ball, kicks a line drive kick down the field. Josh Moore falls on it at the 29 yard line and covers it up. It was a low line drive kick all the way bouncing down the field. Jake Davison kicks it off for the Raiders. 29 yard line. Gonna be a little tougher Josh this go around. We're playing into the wind it's now. Fish, the official official send Jaden out because of his knees covered up. They're first and 10 at their own 29. Yep, they sending Jaden out. His knees wasn't covered, they said. Breck Boland's coming in to play the wide receiver slot. John Floyd Dunn is in the tight end package. Got tight end with three backs in the backfield. Jacob Bush being the up back. Shane Stevens waiting on it. He hands it to Floyd Melton. Got some running room up the middle. Going to get up close to the 34-yard line, almost to the 35. Going to gain about four or five on the play. Nice run. Oh, it's going to be spotted over the 34, close to the 40. And he backs it up on the backside of his foot. But the ball will be spotted at the 34-yard line. I called it off his foot. So bring up second down and about five for the Mustangs. Again, uh, Shane Stevens pulls it back from Floyd Milton. Floyd tried to take it. Shane's going to get first down yardage over the 40 yard line. Floyd tried to take the ball. Shane said, That's Nope, right. I want it back. He saw a little more and he did yep. a good job. Got first down yardage over the 40 down. yard right. line. Ball be spotted close to the 42 yard line. And it's a first down for the Mustangs. First down, Mustangs. Wade Smith operating at center. DeAndre uh, Hoover left tackle. Dwayne Jones left guard. Right uh, tackles Hunter Taylor. Right guard Noah Woodard. Still got the tight end package in. Jacob Bush up back. Shane Stevens. Floyd Melton trips. Shane pulls it up and goes down to the right side and going to be pulled down by his jersey about the 44-yard line or so. Going to gain about two, maybe three on the plate, depending on the spot. Looks like it's going to spot him up at the 45. Ball's at the 45-yard line, six minutes, 10 seconds roughly to go in the second quarter. Ball game tied seven to seven. Mustangs got it second down and, and seven to go. Still in the tight package. Floyd Melton over the middle, gets hard, gets spin, breaks some tackles, nice. gonna get close to first down yardage. I, looks like he's gonna spot him just short. Just a hair short, I think, his knee went yep. down. Yep. But he did a great he job. He was real close. He we did right a good there. job breaking it, so it's going to bring up third down and less one for the Mustangs. Less than a yard to go for the first down. It's third down. It's Mustangs are sending in Lake Jekelly going out as John Floyd. No, excuse me. That's uh, coming in the ball game. I thought it was number 10, but that's uh, that number 18. Nolan, Nolan Marshall coming in to tight end spot. Uh, Got move a guy in the slot back, Jack Reichley, Shane Stevens, hands to Floyd Melton, got some running room off the right side, gets met at the 40-yard line, goes down. Going to be first down inside a Raider territory at the 41-yard line, just shy of the 40, depending on where they spot it. 
but it'll move the chains. With five minutes and 12 seconds to go in the second quarter. So Mustangs got it first down and 10, the ball at the 40-yard line. Handed in the middle of Jack Reichley. He's going to get about a yard on the play. Mustang's going to have it second down and nine. Ball just at the 39 yard line inside Lamar territory. Jody, I thought we had a drone coming over, but I it's a balloon. They caught my eye. Shane right. Stevens fakes it, throws it out in the flat to Floyd Melton, caught with running room. Floyd's down inside the 25 yard line, gonna nice be spotted down Mustangs. at the 21 yard line. First down, Mustangs. Okay. Nice play, good job. Kind of hard to see on that end, Jody. That's right. <laughs> we got about give it up these last 35 yards. We got three cameras and six guys on the other side of us to look over. We'll give it the best we can. Shresh will get it on the camera for us. So if we can't tell you what it is, watch what Shresh is videoing. Arvid Woodard does a good job on the computer for us. Thanks to Arvid for making the trip. Hand off to Alex Tanksley. He's going to be hit for no gain. He's fighting for all the yardage, but going to be no gain. Alex Tanksley will come in the game and uh, hand it off to him with no gain there. It'll bring up second down and 10. Evan Dirksen. Clock running with three minutes and 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. I mean, second quarter. No game, second down, 10. Jody didn't want to go down. He just had too many guys he had to carry. That yep. go rough. He had three or four hanging on him. That's right. We've got at Shane Stevens running the option to the right side. Just going to barely get over the 20-yard line. Wasn't anything anywhere. He just had tuck it down, pull it, going to get down to about the 19-yard line and bring up third down and eight for the Mustangs. Laws McCooley come in on that play as well. Those things are going to run a two wide receiver left, two wide receiver right package with Floyd Melton in the backfield beside Shane Stevens. Jaden Simcox wide left. Jack Reichley in the slot on the left. Uh, slot on the right is Alex Lindsay with Breck Bowling far right. Snap the back. Shane Stevens looking to throw good protection. Mm. Caught by Jack Reichley, but his feet slips out from under him at the 15 yard line. Yep. I think he would have had yardage to run there, and his feet came out from under him. Fourth down and three for the Mustangs. Sure to be fourth down territory here with this sloppy field. It'd be hard to kick a field goal right there, Joe. Yeah, that's right. Into the wind. This second quarter. Clock's running with two minutes and 25 seconds to go. Fourth down and. Clock reads four. I'd say it's closer to three. Long three, short four. All right, big play. Jack Reichley goes in motion. They fake it to him, hand it to Floyd Melton, and inside Floyd breaks He's some gonna tackles and going to get over the 10 yard line for first yard. They Good faked it to Floyd. Jack. Floyd broke two or three tackles to get down there. Going to be inside run. the 10 yard line. Bring up first down and goal. Let's see where they're going to spot it, Jody. Looks like. Ball may be just right over the nine. We'll call it the nine-yard line. First down and goal from the nine for the Mustangs. Clock's running with two minutes and five seconds to go. Shane Stevens didn't snap the ball. Turn, look, the coach gets the signal. Their lineman fell the knees but didn't jump off sides. Snaps back. They fake it to Floyd Melton. Shane Stevens has got running room to the outside. Fighting for the corner. Dies for the corner. Officials give us yeah. a signal for a touchdown. Good call, good effort, good job. He did a good job to get out there. So yep. with a minute yep. and 45 seconds to go in the second quarter, Mustang score a touchdown to go up 13 to seven with a point after touchdown still to come for the PAT. Gavin Leslie will be on to kick it. Shane Stevens is hustling back to hold it. Well, I was hoping we'd take about a minute 50 to get that in, but uh, I'll take it. Harvard, you give us a replay on that one or did you get it working tonight? Okay. We were trying to add the replay in tonight. Don't know if we got it there or not. So, anyway, Gavin Leslie on attempt to extra point. Snaps back. 
Shane Stevens gets down, kicks up, kicks good. So the Mustangs go up 14 to seven with a minute and 45 seconds to go in the second quarter. Good job, White. That's the way. Good job by Shane Stevens to take that ball to the outside and get it just stretched for the corner and got it. He yep. hustled to get to the edge there. Uh, Turned on afterburners over there. Yep, big play was Floyd Melton on that third down play there. Yep, no doubt about it. So all the difference in the world. Yep, it made a big difference down there to get that close and not not hit pay dirt would have been would not have been a good momentum deal going into halftime. We need a good defensive stand here now to go into halftime with a lead. Got a minute and 45 seconds. They got a quarterback that can throw it, so you know they're going to be slinging it coming coming out here. Probably got a brisk w- clock as well. Yeah, yep, got a brisk wind blowing into the kicker's face this time. First time, a couple of times we kicked off, it was with the wind. This time we'll be kicking into the wind. All other kicks have gone into the end zone. So, Jaden Simcox on the kick. He gets about a nine yard drop. Three, they've got three guys lined up across the five-yard line. Jaden looks left, looks right, says he's ready to go. Kicks away. It's going to be held up in the wind. Going to be filled at about the 15-yard line. Uh, Ooh, cut down quickly nice. by Sam Harris, isn't it? Yep, I think you're right. Great job. Good coverage. Yep, Sam did a good job. Going to tackle him at about the 25, 26-yard line. Return. Brooks Brox had Tackles returned it for him. Sam Harris. Sam just slipped right through there like a nice he did. butter, didn't he? Yeah, it was not that deep a kick. He gets about a 10-yard return on. Ball's going to be spotted 26-yard line with a minute and 41 seconds to go. And they've got three receivers left. Mustangs have dropped some defensive backs way back. Got some 10, 15-yard drops. Not want to give up the big play here. Got one receiver wide right. Quarterback's looking to his left to throw, throws it down and deal. It's a screen underneath him. Jack Rockley's going to come up and tackle him. I mean, Alex Lindsay's first down yardy, Joe. Gain about 11 yards. Coach is signaling the play. They're getting ready to hurry. Chains are set. Official starts the clock. Minute and 28 seconds, clock running. Again, the quarterback looking right this time, throws it out in the flat to the right, pass is complete and going to get out of bounds. Uh, is number 13, Peyton. I mean, excuse me, looking at the wrong roster there. Is Jacob Patrick for him. Run out, down. run out of bounds by Gavin Leslie. Balls at the 50-yard line, just shy of the 50-yard line. So, minute 19, the guy got out of bounds, stopped the clock. Uh, all, both teams still got three timeouts left. Got three receivers left. Mustangs are going to jump off sides. Offsides Tough luck. Move yep, Gage Gamble. Tried to shoot the gap right yep. there and That's just right, went Gage. quick. I'll take it. It's okay. He was playing aggressive there. So it's first down and five. Minute and 19 seconds to go first in the second quarter. The Mustang 46. Ball has moved over in Mustang territory now. Quarterback's got three receivers left, right. He's looking to do He's running to the right. Uh, he's going to get out of bounds. By down at about the 41-yard line. Going to be right at first down yardage. But he goes out of bounds. Clock stops with a min- minute and 14 seconds. Uh, looking at the spot, I'm going to say it's first down yardage. Dude. I agree with you, Bill. I think you're first exactly down, right. Raider. Yep, yep. That's a good call. Thought it was so, but he did go out of bounds and stop the clock with a minute and 14 seconds. They've not run very much time off the field, moved it down. Quarterback's got three receivers left. He's looking to throw it out in the left flat. He throws it over the middle. Whew. Pass is complete. Guy's gonna get down. He breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, he breaks another tackle. I'm gonna walk into the end zone. Broke three or four tackles. That was number 14, Jake Ranger. Uh, 5'9", 162 senior. He threw it over the middle and he just kept breaking tackles. Right and left. Nice job of just catching the ball and then a heck of a job of running the ball. He did. Go down. So with a minute and three seconds to go, the Raiders take it down the field and score a touchdown. Uh, 
on for the extra point. Attempt for them is Jake Davidson. Holding form will be Brooks Brock. I'll tell you, that quarterback did a great job of looking, looking that defense off, looking to his left, and coming back to the middle. Did and, and the kid was wide open across the center. He caught it and then broke tackle after tackle after tackle. Do it. Mustangs almost get there to block it. Don't kicks up, kicks good. So with a minute and three seconds to go, the Mustangs are tied up 14-14 with Lamar School. This field's getting chewed up, Jody. It, it, it was wet, water standing exactly on it at the right. beginning of the night, rain down here all day yet today and last night, so it's tough conditions on the field. Yep. Cool, wet night. It really is. Raiders did what they needed to do to answer pull a score. Had three or four broken tackles on that touchdown pass there. Yeah, I think the Mustangs are going to want that one back when they see it on film, that's yep. for sure. Alex, over. Alex Lindsay came all the way over from his right cornerback spot at the last spot to try to get him on the on the left side, our left side of the field there right. Alex had come all the way from the field and got his hands on him but couldn't get him tackled, couldn't get him down. So Mustangs will send back Jaden Simcox and Jack Reichley. Josh Moore stands at the 30-yard line. This kick's going to go over their head, boys. They're kicking with the wind now. Well, they kicked it last time on the low line. Yeah, drive. you're exactly right. They sure did. We well, hadn't hardly had anybody kick to us. He's this about year. lined up for that again. Yep, he's lined up in the exact same he sure spot. Is. And uh, exactly what he's going to do again, bounce it. Ball almost bounces over Josh Moore's head. He goes down at the 29-yard line, same same play as last time. Yep. Jake Davidson kicks off for our Raiders. So the Mustangs get the ball with a minute and three seconds to go till halftime. Well, something down in that concession stand smells good, Bill. It does. I don't know what it is. Better do a little investigative reporting at halftime. Yeah, all right. We're going, I'm going to stay up and do an interview with Shresh on the fine award his son Sanjay got. Oh, today. boy, you folks better stick around. Listen to that. This is a big one now. Got a inside screen to Jaden Simcox out on the left side. He's got some running room. Gets out of bounds somewhere about the 46-yard line. First down yardage stops the clock with 56 seconds to go. Mustangs looked at the sideline, Coach McCarty for the plays. Got three receivers right. One left being Jaden Simcox, Breck Bowling, the far one in the right, Jack Reichley and Alex Lindsay in the slots. Floyd Melton beside him, they fake it to Floyd. Shane gets smoked as he, as he does it. All right, let's call timeout here. Defense, so they're going to lose about two yards on the plate down the 44-yard line. Oh, we just go go to halftime. Yep, clock's running with 40 seconds play. to go. Not a bad play. Thirty-two seconds, clock running. Snap, Shane Stevens looking to throw. Got throws out here in the flat to Jaden Simcox. Ball's on the throw and falls incomplete with twenty-six seconds to go. Third Stevens down and twelve. Third down. Oh. Mustangs looking to Coach McCarty for his play on the sideline. He signals it in. They turn and look. Shane Stevens waiting on a snap. Jaden Simcox couldn't see the play late getting up to the line. Does. We're going to have a. We got a false start against the Mustangs. So back it up five yards. Bring up third down and 17 for the Mustangs. Well, if we're going to go 60, we might as well go 65. Yep. It'd be nice. It'd be a little more impressive, wouldn't it? Be nice to take it to the house and get some momentum going in after giving up that late touchdown. Got the same set, three receivers right, one left. Shane Stevens hands it to Floyd Melton over the left side. Floyd gets tackled at about the 43-yard line, 44-yard line. Clock's running at 15 seconds. Doesn't look like 
The clock's going to run out at halftime here with the ball game tied 14 to 14. We're going to take a little break and get set up for halftime. And uh, we're going to bring the interview, so talk to Charest. Arbert, if you want to run the commercial. All right, I think we're live. Arvid's got the camera on Shoresh and myself. Uh, we want to bring you a little special halftime entertainment tonight. Shoresh is glowing right here beside me, I know. Can, can you can you turn the heat on here? I mean, are you kidding with me? I am dying up here. It's cold, but you ought to be warm out the announcement your, well, your son Sanjay got today. Well, before we talk about Sanjay, I'm so disappointed we're not showing the pillow cheerleaders and the pillow dancers, but apparently they're not performing at halftime. I'm not sure what's going on here. They were announced were, but they're not over for it. So, so. we have the uh, Lamar dancers perform. But go ahead. So we're going to talk a little bit to Suresh about the award that Sanjay got today. Uh, yeah, yeah. He got a raise from 725 <laughs> to 750 an hour, working janitorial maintenance at the Hampton Inn. I don't believe that a bit. <laughs> uh, Sanjay got the uh, National Heisman Award he today did. for high school students. He had found out early in the week he'd won the state and found out he won the regional. He did. And he then did. Uh, I think found out today at the pep rally he won. Well, there's a story behind us we have this blasting music here nobody's going to hear me first of all Sanjay and Mary Brian Crick were selected as the uh, Pill Academy uh, Heisman Award winners which is a huge honor uh, last year I believe uh, Ellie Knight and uh, Smith Lyon won it and uh, you know there's been a lot of great winners over the years well the next uh, level of, uh, of, of winning was the uh, top 10 in the state and both Mary Bryan and Sanjay were top ten in the state, which was just a huge honor for both of them. So we were really excited about that. And it was the only school in the state of Mississippi where we had the boy and the girl both make it in the top ten. Uh, on Wednesday, on Sanjay's birthday, we woke to the news that Sanjay had been chosen as the state Heisman winner for the state of Mississippi. It was the first time in the history of Pill Academy that we had a state Heisman winner. 
and it was huge news. It was a great way for him to turn 18, and we were really excited. I shot a video. Uh, uh, I'm glad that it was on my wife and kids because I was like, un I wasn't really dressed well for it. But uh, anyways, it was 7 o'clock in the morning. I was half asleep. So uh, it was great news. Well, Thursday, we found out that Sunjay competing against nine other state winners had won the Southeast Regional for the uh, Heisman Award. And uh, the Heisman Award is an award for uh, uh, best uh, uh, student athlete in, the, in the, you know, you look at academics, athletics, as well as uh, community service. So we couldn't believe it. He competed against states like Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas, and he won it. Well, he, there was five different regions of ten states, and he was one of the five national five finalists for the Heisman Award. They said they were going to announce it today. We were, you know, we didn't sleep all night thinking about it. We figured at 7 o'clock in the morning they would announce it. Well, they didn't announce it. But uh, Mr. Burton and Mr. Brown had invited my family and the Crick family over to honor them for their achievements of the Heisman. And we went to the pep rally today, we were all excited about that and wondering when are they going to announce the national Heisman. We just, you know, we knew we had a one in five chance. At the pep rally itself in front of about 1,000 people, uh, Representative Heisman stood up there and congratulated uh, Mary Brown and Sunjay and their awards, and as we went up some of Sunjay's awards and said, hey, by the way, in essence, by the way, Sunjay Chawla is the 2018 Wendy's High School Heisman Award winner for the United States of America. And uh, it's actually, uh, Richard Beatty's actually, uh, Beatty's actually posted it on YouTube. If you type up Sunjay Chawla on YouTube, you can actually see it. And Sunjay is stunned, and he gives a little speech and all that. I'm crying in the crowd. I can't <laughs> believe it. And uh, it, it was a great day. And uh, let me tell you what I'm most proud of. What I'm most proud of is the fact that Sunjay Chawla recognized Pillow Academy, seven. the teachers, the faculty, and the students, and the entire family for what they've done for him these last uh, 14 years, two years of kindergarten and uh, 12 years of high school. And it was a very sentimental feel for us. My wife is stunned. Uh, my wife cried and didn't even hug me or shake my hand or anything. She was so stunned. And I was crying in the crowd about 50, 50 people took pictures of me crying in the crowd. So it was a very emotional day for us. It had to be. It's a great honor to win a national award. Fine uh, deal for Sunjay, but also Pillow Academy. Yeah. I've had the pleasure of watching Sunjay grow since wow. uh, early school. I remember. And I've had a pleasure with, with Harris. I mean, I, they I, were, you know. They both are Eagle Scouts. Yes. We talked about community service, but I watched him travel all over the country with Sunjay and scouting, and that, he's been a leader everywhere we've gone and good community service and leader and, and a fine uh, spokesman for Pillow yeah. Academy for the United States as a citizen and, and all that. So I, I even remember his first grade picture he colored in the hall when you pointed it out. <laughs> you remember him, that? I sent him a note about it yeah. today. <laughs> we won't so. say what you noticed about that picture, <laughs> but it was in the hallway. It was pretty funny. I remember I, you telling me about I that. I remember that. So, But it's a great honor. And, and Sharesh, I know y'all have got to be proud well, of what I the mean, young man has done. And it's, it's great great compliments to you and, and Gory, too, and what y'all have done as parents to Well, I did, to a, lot be there for I did a lot more than Gory. <laughs> no, I, but, I mean, she's obviously done a tremendous amount. It is. It takes both to raise. And, and it's a great honor. Uh, let, me, let me just tell you a couple of things. First of all, Tim Burton and uh, Coach, Mr. Burton, the principal, I call him Tim because I've known him since he was like 12. He and I graduated high school together. And what he said to me at, at uh, halftime, I mean, at, after the pep rally was amazing. He said, growing up in Greenwood, did you and I ever think that anybody from Greenwood, Mississippi would win the Heisman Award for the United States of America for high school students? I was like, nope. He said, did you ever think that somebody that knew you or was associated with you would do it? I was like, nope. How about the fact that he was your son? I was like, you're exactly right. So that's exciting. And then the whole thing now basically is we travel. Sunjay travels now to the Heisman Trophy presentation for college football. He is going to the Heisman, downtown Athletic Club, New York. And he, he what, almost lost our laptop there. It's windy up here, folks. Uh, so basically, Sunjay gets to uh, get honored over there. We're about to lose our laptop here. It's about $1,000 worth of equipment. Let's just make sure we don't lose that. Uh, so Sanjay travels to the Downtown Athletic Club. We go to New York on the weekend of December 7th, and uh, he gets to meet all these Heisman football players, all these college Heisman finalists and previous Heisman Trophy winners, which is, I mean, I'm looking forward to meeting Tony Dorsett, and 90% of our audience probably doesn't know who Tony Dorsett is, but, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And then the day of the Heisman presentation, he gets to uh, they get to show a video of him. It's going to be on ESPN for a couple minutes. He'll be there. And then after the Heisman presentation takes place itself, we will go back to the, uh, the Marriott Marquis and Sanjay and the Heisman Trophy winner, which is probably going to be Tua from Alabama. He and, 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 the, and the young lady from Tennessee who won the Heisman will pose with the Heisman Trophy. 
a huge honor for us to go to New York City and, 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 and for the parents to go with him. I mean, they're, they're, they're flogging us up there. They're doing all this stuff. I can't believe somebody from Hill Academy is going. I can't believe that anybody associated with me is going. I mean, I, it's just unbelievable. So we're excited. It is great. It's a great honor, and, and it's tremendous. And Sanjay wanted to come tonight, but he's got a commitment in Oxford in the morning at 8 o'clock. And I know break sure it in my heart, but <laughs> but he does. So, But it, it's all Sanjay's got his head on his straight. I had a call today from Randy Bensley wanting to know if oh, I heard anything. Goodness. He's been following all the way along. Randy, Randy used Bensley, to be his golf coach. Randy and, Bensley inspired Sunjay to take up the sport of golf about four years ago, and Sunjay finished in third place in the state last year yeah. with a part-time hobby. And he, he loves golf more. He loves tennis where he's won four state championships or soccer. I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, and, and golf is where it's going to be when he grows up and yeah. so on. So he'll be playing that his whole life, but uh, it's exciting. But, but look, I mean, Pill Academy, I mean, uh, we're obviously proud parents, but Pill Academy – I mean, the the, 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 fa the family we have here, the teachers, the administrators, the fellow students. I mean, Sanjay uh, called Floyd Melton while Floyd Melton was in the car. He told Floyd something. He said he saw Floyd in the crowd going nuts, you know, from a football player perspective while the pep rally was going on. And Sanjay and Floyd started crying over the phone. And I want to tell you, there's, you know, Sanjay's got that relationship with all these seniors, Harris and all the rest of them. And uh, we're, we're such a close-knit family over there, so... We're tremendously excited about that. I could talk forever, ever, and ever. He's going to miss winter formal. He and Abby Gillespie were supposed to go to winter formal, and he's going to miss it now. So that's killing him. And he was going to take the ACT again that day. He's going to miss that too. And he said to me, should I go ahead and stay and take the ACT and go to winter formal? Like, <laughs> no. No, because no. i got to go see the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> i got to date with the Heisman. I understand. No, he can't miss that. It's, it's a tremendous honor. And, and to get to go to New York to the downtown athletic club is – it's just something in itself, and, and yeah. to be the winner of it. We're, it, we're, we're going to have to teach Gory a little bit about the Heisman, though, because when he on the high school, <laughs> when he was competing for the high school Heisman, Gory asked me, she goes, is there a Heisman trophy for college football? I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yes, well, yes. <laughs> Gory get there. Gory's going to be all right. Yeah. So, but it, it'll be great, and a great honor to your family. Absolutely. Congratulations. Absolutely. And, uh, can I make some observations about this game? You can. Quick? We're going to win this game. Let me, let me tell you why. I think that Shane Houston Stevens can compete with this six foot five giant. They got Jake. What's his name? Jake Davidson. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Jake's fantastic, but so is Shane Houston Stevens. But the difference today is the way this team is running that ball, and Floyd Melton has shown up today. Floyd, how many? Jo Joseph Hutchinson. Joseph Hutchinson. I haven't. I haven't had a chance to look at the stats yet. But this is what we expected of Floyd Melton the entire year, running that ball and so on, and he has been inspired today. That offensive line, and the that offensive line has taken charge. We're out hitting them on the offensive line versus their defensive line. And look, I'll tell you this, the team that's going to win this game basically is going to be the team that doesn't turn the ball over. I think it's going to come down to who turns the ball over, so we'll see what happens. Are we on? Yeah. Oh, we're, okay, I was going to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Were we? Yeah, no, I was talking about that message about something card full and shut off. Okay, well. I'm talking to Arvid, excuse me, over there. So I got a message in that said the SS card is full and shut off. We're showing streaming. I'm getting messages in. We just got a message that Mag Heights is up 16-13 over Simpson. That'll be a great game here. But uh, I think the team that wins this game is going to be favored to win the state championship. Let me see here if I got any messages. Are we on or not? Let's no, see here. I'm going to try to pull up the stats. Yeah, I've got the halftime stats, so I'll try to load them here and see what we look like stat-wise. Terry Crick said thanks for a Mary Brown shout-out. Can I tell you something? Mary Brown and Sunday, totally coincidental to them winning the Heisman. Mary Brown and Sanjay are going to be doing a presentation with the rest of the senior, with the rest of the senior uh, leadership on uh, Veterans Day on Monday for Dutch Aired, a 94-year-old veteran, a World War II veteran that was uh, that was there in Normandy, and I'm so excited about that. I'm yeah. really excited about that. So I got four messages in. We good, Arvid. Yeah, yeah. Arvid, we like to lost our computer. Computer. Yeah, earlier. that thing blew off. I mean, I was. I win. Took it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I had to pull off a Jerry Rice and catch that laptop the last second, but uh, yeah, he, he doesn't have good yeah. hands. So we're yeah. proud. We're, we're proud of everybody. Halftime stats: first downs, pull a ten, Lamar eleven. First downs, rushing five for uh, pull a five, passing two on rushing for Lamar eight on passing one on penalty. Rushing yards: sixty-seven for the Mustangs, fifty-four for Lamar. Passing eight of twelve for pull a ten of fifteen for Lamar. Yardage, uh, passing yards, 95 for Pillow, 126 for Lamar. Uh, one touchdown for them on passing, no interceptions for either team. Total plays, Pillow 32, Lamar 31. Total offense, Pillow 162, Lamar 180. 
Yeah. Uh, penalties. Pillow's got six for 45. Lamar's got two for 17. The penalties thing kind of concerns me there. Yeah. Time of possession, 12 minutes, 48 seconds for Pula, 10, 12 for Lamar. Third down, Pillow's four of seven. Uh, Lamar's three of five. Pillow's one of four on fourth. Lamar's 0 of one. Punt, Pillow's got one for 28-yard average, and Lamar's got one for 33. So very close in stats, very close yeah. score. I love the fact that we're so balanced. Coach McCarty knew he had to be balanced today. He had to be able to run the ball. You mentioned 95 yards passing, 67 yards rushing. When was the last time we had 67 yards rushing and a half? It's been a while, hasn't while. it? But it's yeah, been a while. We've done a good year. job on it. Yeah. So we're going to shut it down and run some uh, commercials. We uh, showed no time left to halftime, so we're going to run our sponsor's commercial. Shresh, thank you and congratulations. I got TV time. We both got TV time. Thanks to Harvard for getting that turned around. He's going to run the commercials and get the camera off of us. We're going to be ready to play here quickly, it looks like. Bye. All right, we're back live. We're back live. We got commercials running. That's fine. Uh, so thanks to our fine sponsors for running. We've got a minute and nine seconds to go to to start the second half. Scores tied 14-14. Had gotten a score in uh, there on a the text while ago. Uh, that. Mag Heights was leading Simpson 16-13. Uh, not terribly surprised by that. I think Mag Heights probably match up pretty well with Simpson. Got a message in from uh, from John Floyd uh, brother from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Alex and Sarah watching. Uh, said the stream is working. We'd gotten a note it was down. Uh, Don Brock sent us a note loud and clear. Zach Stewart said we're on. Uh, up there in Amish country, huh? Yep. So somebody sent us some pictures of me and you, Suresh. <laughs> so. I look good. Thank y'all. So. Nice. All right, hey, we're folks, going. The game is being replayed, excuse me, Wednesday night at 8.30 on Fox 30. So we appreciate them being out here tonight. Are we getting ready to kick this off? Mustangs will receive the ball to start the second half. We won the toss, start the game, and de decline. Uh, so we are going to receive. We got Jaden Simcox back. We've uh, moved uh, some people around. Jaden Simcox is back deep. Jack Reichley's back deep. We're going to have the win the fourth, the We're, first and fourth. We'll have the win the first and fourth. Okay. Lake. Lake. They sure have. So, Mustangs are waiting. Officials are sitting at the balls, been handed out. Uh, 
He's getting it put up on the 40-yard line, going to spot it right in the middle again. Jake Davidson to kick off for our Raiders. So the Mustangs, I think, our wires untangled there, Jody, where we can go. We may have actually swapped headsets. I'm not sure. But we're good to go. Officials started to play clock. Kicker's waiting to kick. Get the second half underway He's here. set up in the same spot. He's going to kick a low line drive again. Lake Jekele picks it up at the 30-yard line and runs over a guy up to the 40-yard line. They're going to spot it just at the 41-yard line, so the Mustangs are going to take it over to start the third quarter to the 41-yard line. Lake we'll take it. Lake on the kick return. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what the strategy is there, Bill, with that kind of kick. I don't know. I, I don't know. We've had not had anybody kick to us all year. Not, I don't know that we've shown any speed. To That's right. We haven't uh, given any reason, anybody any reason not to kick to us. Um, yeah, but it does. That's the way they do it. So the Mustangs are going to take over. Got Jacob Bush in it up back. Got one receiver left. Jaden Simcox, three in the backfield. They hand to Floyd Melton. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and smoke. They sniffed that one out, didn't yep, they? Yep, they did. Guy crashed down hard from the good left side on the defense. defensive line. Right. And all in the, so good good job there of, of crashing down on that. The wind's even picking up more right now up here. It's uh, gotten cold. It, and, uh, it has. You wasn't up here, Jody, but the wind blew our computer off her thing. Oh with the had to catch it. it. Had to turn around. Got a pass in the flat to the right. Called for first down yardage. Jack Reichley breaks first tackle. Going to get over nice. to midfield. Down somewhere around the 42, 43 yard line. But tell you what, he's just skating out there trying to get his feet out from yeah. underneath him and catch that ball. Was That's even really coming tough. back to the huddle. He was having a hard time keeping his feet yeah. under him. It's wet and sloppy over there. It really must be worse than it looks even. Yep. So. We've got Lake Jekele deep in the backfield. Floyd Melton beside Shane Stevens. Jaden Simcox wide left. Brick Bowling wide right. Lake Jekele goes in motion. They fake it to Floyd Melton. Shane Stevens boards the tackle, turns it back up the middle, cuts it outside. Got running room down the right side. Going to get inside the 20 yard line. He's going to take it to the touch Goodness. to the house for a touchdown for a 43 yard touchdown run by Shane Stevens. He Great brought it job, to the left Shane. side, took it all the way back to the right. Sweet. Nice run. That was Houston indeed Stevens. impressive. I don't think they had any any the idea they were going to take that one to the house. Yep. I think it was a designed run all the way, but uh, I don't think they were looking for that many yards out of it. Yep, so Mustangs get a 59-yard uh, nice. drive. So they scored on drives of 71 and 82 yards and 59 now. Snaps back, kicks up. And kicks good. It was All a wobbly right. kick that just got over. We'll take it. So the Mustangs go up 21 to 14 with a minute gone in the third quarter. Nice adjustment. Didn't score in the last 60 seconds of the first half, but in the first 60 seconds of the second half. Yep. I'll take that. Did. Moving in the positive direction. Mustangs, yep. good job. Good way to open it up. Kind of take the wind out of the red down there, it sounds like. Yep. So the Mustangs are huddled up around Coach Beagle, getting their instructions on the kickoff. Jaden Sivcox does a kickoff for the Mustangs. Uh, again, we'll be kicking into the wind. We're trying to help our cameraman find his glasses. He done lost them somewhere. I did an interview with him. He wasn't, he wasn't wearing them in the interview, I know that. You didn't get so excited you threw him over the rail or nothing, did you? <laughs> I don't think you did. They didn't want them pockets. You got so many jackets on, ain't no telling where it is. He made that lunging. Jaden Simcox, they've got three receivers back on the 10-yard line standing across it. He's kicking into a, a brisk win, even more so than the first half. They fielded it at about the 15-yard line. He really has wins one. picked up and Mercury's dropped here. Yep. Two years ago when we were down here, it was a heavy dew that night. I remember everything we had was wet when we got off top of this press yeah. box. Kicks away. Going to be filled at somewhere. Going to hit at the 15, be picked up at about the 12. Coming on the right side. Nice job. Uh, Jack, Jack. Reichley gets yep. down and hits him and drops him at about the 
about the uh, 20 yard line. Return. Jack did a great job slipping through there, finding a little gap. Yep. Making it work for him. Ball spotted right on the 20-yard line. First down and 10 for Lamar with 11, 10 minutes and 55 Raiders seconds to go. Mustangs lead 21 to 14 early in, the, early in the third quarter. Officials darts the play clock. No, he hadn't yet. Nah. Everybody's lined up. He gets it started. You got three receivers left. Quarterback looking to throw out in the flat quick to the right. Hits a guy. He's going to be taken out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. Gain about six yards. They're just going to make us come up and defend that short pass. Yep. He, he's very accurate yards. with it. And uh, it's, it's just a quick Second out he throws four. to his receivers. Alex Lindsay in coverage on that side. Three receivers again left. Quarterback looking, hands it off to the right side. Got some running room. Going to get first down yardage up to about the 32-yard line. Dalton Nelson on the carry. First down yardage for the Raiders. Ball's going to be spotted just right at the 32-yard line. Tackle by Sam Harris. First down and 10, Sam first Harris on the tackle. Raiders. Play clock started. They again go with the same formation. Three receivers left, one receiver right, one guy in the backfield beside him. Guard tackle in the center. They fake it in the center, throw it out in the flat to the right, and it's overthrown. Uh, in coverage was Laws McCoo. Pass, pass was in, intended for, can't read that number, so I don't, can't tell you. But anyway, it was high and overthrown, going to fall incomplete, bring up second down and 10. Hutchinson's their fine quarterback, 6'6", 200-pound senior. Got the same formation. Waiting to snap, looking to throw right, pumps it, throws the screen over the right side. Sam Harris has stayed home. Nice job, Sam. Sam did a good job staying home. He's going to gain about two yards on the play up to the 35-yard line. Maybe gain a three, bring up third down and seven. Sam did a good job of staying home on that screen. That's right, just good fundamental defense. First time we'd seen it tonight, and uh, Sam did a good job. We got Noah Woodard in on the defensive line. Josh Moore, Gage Gamble, Sam Harris, Seth Hollis, Laws McCool, our linebackers. Same formation, we got a, we got a uh, penalty. Gonna be offsides on defense, I think. Offsides against the Mustangs. Must have lined up in the neutral zone. Dodie, I, I couldn't see part of it for the railing yeah. in front of us. Going to mark it up five yards, so it's going to bring up third and two for the Raiders. Josh Moore, Noah Woodard, Gage Gamble on the defensive line. Seth Hollis walks up the end. Lake Kelly walking up at the end in the third down and two situation. Jack Reichley moves Laws and McCool back inside. Quarterback's waiting on the snap. He's coming to the right. He slips the line of scrimmage and gets tackled. Shoestring tackle by Sam Harris. Sam Harris again, good job. We had some pressure on him in the backfield. He sidestepped us and, and took it for first down yardage. The ball's going to be spotted at about the 48 yard line or so. Good shoestring tackle by Sam Harris. I don't, I don't know if he didn't have running room other than a wet field may have got him. First down and 10, the ball at the 48-yard line. Same formation, quarterback handed on the left side. He's got some running room, gonna get over midfield down to about the 48-yard line inside of Mustang territory. Takes up five yards. Second down and five for the Raiders. That may be the best blocking I've seen on their offensive line tonight for the running play for them. Got three man front again for the Mustangs. They hand it again in the middle again and gonna, he's gonna get down just inside the 45 yard line down to 45, gonna bring up third down and about two for the Raiders. Was Sam Harris in on that tackle? I couldn't see, did he? Yeah, I'm not sure there, Bill. The wind's gotten a lot higher. If we got wind noise in the mic, we apologize to you. You may turn it to the other side and take some wind out of it when your mic facing that way. 
I missed that play trying to get some mics. It's going to be first down yardage. I apologize for missing that play. We're trying to get some wind noise out of our mics. First down inside Mustang territory. Ball spotted on the 41-yard line. Raiders do not operate out of a huddle. They got three guys on the line left. Got a running play to the right side. He gets by Josh Moore. Going to be run out of bounds downfield by Sam Harris inside the 35-yard line. Ball spotted almost to the 34. Bring up second down and four. Second down, four. Mustangs got Gage Gamble and DeAndre Hoover back in the defensive line. Josh Moore, Alex Lindsay playing cornerback. Gavin Leslie playing cornerback. Christian Belkin in at safety. Uh, Alex Lin uh, Jack Reichley in at that. Got a sweep to the left side. Coming up out there making a big play is Lake to Kelly for a loss on the play back to the 35-yard line. Nice good job by Lake there. Kelly. Did. Lake did a good job coming up and closing. They just ran a sweep to the left side. Lake did a good job coming across the line, shutting it down. They shut him down for a yard loss. So it's going to be third down and four from the 35-yard line. Again, I'd say this is probably four down territory, Jody. Yeah, I think you're right. I They've got the wind at the back. They uh, threw I the imagine. ball when they first came out, but they've kind of gone to the run game here lately. Yep, you're right. Got two receivers right, one left. Got a... Got a flag by the official legal substitution. Too many men on the field for our Raiders. Got 12 men on the field. Going to back it up five. Make it third down and about nine. Hit the 40-yard line. Third down and nine. That's one way to make a tough to defend play. Yep, that helps. Ball spotted right on the 40-yard line. They got a wide receiver left, wide receiver right. And... Uh, Got a tight end on the right side. They hand it in the middle. Guy's got some running room. We're going to get over the 35-yard line down to about the 34. Bring up fourth down and four from the 34-yard line. Bring up about third down and three, it looks like. Ball spotted at the 34-yard line. They got to get to the 30, just short of the 31, so not quite a full three yards. So fourth down and long two, short three for the Raiders. They bring in a big up back. They bring in number two, uh, 42, Christian Chambers, 6'2", 249, listed as a defensive lineman, brought him in in the backfield, quarterback hand in the middle. He, now the quarterback kept oh, it. He's God. got some running room down the field. Christian Belt missed him. We took the fake inside, and he takes it for 33 Raiders. yards for a touchdown. He faked me off. Did too. I thought we'd stop him for a loss, Dick, huh? Yep. Well, tough luck, Mustangs. Let him crawl back in this. Yep. He's got six touchdown runs on the year. It was an 80-yard drive, six minutes, 34 seconds. The only attempt to extra point for them is Jake Davidson. We got a penalty here. Got offsides on the defense. Mustangs have had a lot of yellow flags tonight, Jody. You're exactly right. Uh, a lot on defensive. Yep. Sides against the Seven Mustang. flags, I'm being told here by Suresh. I think it's six and a half, half yeah. That's two on this side, so it's eight. We've had two defensive offsides, so it's eight penalties in the game. Something not characteristic to the Mustangs, so still going to attempt the extra point. Jake Davidson. Place the ball at the nine, nine instead of the 10. Snap back, kicks up, kicks good. Looks really good. So, yep. 
21-21 with 6.34 to go in the third quarter. Both teams come out and take the opening drives and scare it down. Carry down and score, 80 yard drive for the Raiders with a 33 yard touchdown run. The Mustangs had a had a 59 yard uh, touchdown with a 43 yard touchdown run by the quarterback. So both quarterbacks have got big long runs to start this third quarter to keep the score tied at 21-21. Six minutes, 34 seconds to go. A lot of smoke coming out of that concession stand grill down there, Jody. <laughs> It is. I thought they had something special down there, but it's just regular fare, hamburgers, hot dogs. No. Oh. But they're doing a fine job. They got a nice setup down there. Now, all the more directly behind us is a baseball field. It looks mighty pretty. It's Rye grass. Green, and isn't it? Yep. Right and green, and you can see the water standing on the infield of it. It looks like it's a turf around home plate there, not a dirt surface. So they're on the kickoff. Uh, again, guys set up in the same position. We'll see what he does on the kick this time. It's a low squib down the middle this time. It's filled it in the middle by Alex Lindsay waiting on some blocking to get in front hey, of him. Alex has got a hole, gets up over the 40, still fighting for yard. He's going to get over the 45 yard line. Alex just. Uh, Waited on some blocking to get there. He yep. picked it up quick he sure and ran did. it. He was real patient, wasn't he? Yep. Found a little gap and picked up some yardage. Did, did nice job. Alex, good job running the nice ball. The ball's going to be spotted, it looks like, around the 43-yard line. Tackle was by Logan Lamar. He sure got the speed. If they just give him a little bit of daylight, he'd make them pay. Yep. Alex, old soccer player, he's First used to playing on a wet field. Man. Yep. Mustangs come in with an up back, three in the backfield. They fake it. Shane Stevens is rolling out the left. Look, throwing downfield for Jaden Simcox. Jaden Simcox waiting, catches the ball at the 20, about the 21-yard line for first down yardage deep in Raider territory. Faked in the, faked in the middle. Shane rolled out to his left. Looked to throw it in the flat. Wasn't there. Waited for it to develop. His if Jaden got downfield. So Jaden moves the ball down. And I believe it's going to be spotted at the. 21 yard line. So back down here did a great job of picking up that block, giving Shane Houston a little extra time to get that ball off. Yep. Floyd, I guess that was. They hand it to Floyd Melton on the left side. Floyd gets a little running room. Linebacker closes down quick on him to shut him down. He's going to get over the 20 yard line down to about the 18 or 17, depending on the spot. Looks like it's going to be close to the 17 yard line. So he's going to gain about four on the play, second down and six. Five minutes, 40 seconds, clock running in the third quarter. Ball game tied 21 21. We got Ross Carpenter in at a right guard. Jacob Bush comes in motion to the left. Shane Stevens looking to throw, throws it to Jack Reichley underneath. He's catch, breaks a tackle, stays up. Jacob Bush is downfield trying to help him downfield. He's going to be inside the 10-yard line, spotted somewhere about the 6 or 7-yard line. First, be first down and goal for the Mustangs. Good job, Jack. Catch that ball and fight for those extra yards. He was. Nice. Sometimes I get a little worried as wet as it is when you stay up that long. I know. That's exactly right. For the Mustangs. Again, Ross Carpenter's filled in at right guard. John Floyd Dunn comes in at tight end on the right side. Mustangs don't snap the ball. They look. They shift the backs to the left. Lake to Kelly's deep behind Shane Stevens. Shane signals, tells his lineman what the play is, gets a snap. Hands it to Floyd Melton over the right side. Floyd's fighting hard. Floyd's down to the goal line. Floyd's going to be in for the touchdown. Very nice. Floyd. So Floyd Good fought job. hard there. He went to the right, cut back to the left, kept fighting. Going as hard as he could. Senior running back not going to be kept out. No. Nope. He wants to play one more week. Yep, so a seven-yard touchdown run by Floyd Melton for a 57-yard uh, drive for the Mustangs. For the Mustangs there. That's good. So with five, four minutes and 54 seconds to go in the third quarter, Mustangs go up 27-21 with a point after attempt to be attempted. Gavin Leslie on, Shane Stevens holding, kicks back, snaps up, kicks good. Gavin Leslie kicks the point after. So, good. Mustangs go up 28-21.
with four minutes and 54 seconds to go in the third quarter. All right, two for two, that's nice. Mustangs are huddled up around Coach Beagle over there, kicking team, getting instructions. Again, they line three people up at the, about the 10-yard line. Again, we'll be kicking into a brisk win. We will have the win with us in the fourth quarter. Uh, we had the win in the first quarter. We'll have the win in the fourth quarter. I want to take this lead into the fourth quarter. Sure yep. enough, Bill. It'd be nice. Mustangs get out. Jaden Simcox is on the kick. Hadn't gotten any more messages in, Jody. Got a message in from the coast, uh, Gulf Coast, where somebody's watching. Thanks, Laurie. So I uh, had a report on Mag Heist. Don't have anything else on it in a while. Four minutes, 54 seconds to go here. Pull the leads, 28-21. Kicks away, going to the right side. Going to be fielded at about the 12-yard line, going up the right side. He's got room on the outside yard. Jaden Simcox is waiting back there, knocks him out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. George Arrington had that return, just took it, kicked to the right side, and he took it up the right side over at the right side defense, left side to the kicking team. So they're going to take over the ball at the 44-yard line. It looks like it's spotted on. Mustang defense needs to come out and make a stand here, Jody. Yeah, we need to stop them this drive, sure enough. Get this ball back. First and ten, Raiders. Put more than one score between us. Yep. It'd be nice and to get a, get a little comfort 44. zone in there. Four minutes, 46 seconds to go. Mustangs come out with a four-man defensive front here. Blitz from the right side. Oh. Laws McCoos gets some hit on him. Down the field, ball's overthrown. It was intended. Looks like receiver may get up with a cramp. It was intended for number 13, Jacob Partridge. He aired it out all the way down inside the 20-yard line. Laws McCool got to him right as he threw it. Got a, a small lick in it. I thought he was going to tattoo him there, sure enough. Yep. So first time we really got any pressure on him there. But he made him rush it, I believe. Yep. So he overthrew him. If he'd have waited a little longer, he may have dropped it in because he yep. has a lot of accuracy. Yep. They checked us deep on that one, so... He's got two receivers right, two left. He's looking for a pass out in the flat to his running back. Got some running room. Alex Lindsay makes a tackle inside Mustang territory to 43-yard line. Intended for Jake Ranzier. Complete to him. So it'll be first down yardage at the 44-yard line inside Mustang territory. Again, they, they hit some quick passes. They checked us deep on that other and then tried to come underneath on that one. Pass out here again in the flat, complete to number 13. Going to be run out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Joseph Hutchison to so Jacob Partridge. Going to bring up second down in about four, it looks like. Bounds. Maybe five, five depending on the spot. Going to be second down in about four. Second three, ball at the 37. Quarterback got three receivers left. He's looking out those underneath screen on the left side. Guy breaks one, two. Tackle still up on his feet. Finally gets hit hard. Going to be first down yardage inside the 30 yard line. About the 28, maybe 27 yard line. Looks like they're going to spot it close to a 27 yard line. They threw a little underneath screen. Had trip receivers out on the left side then. Came underneath with it. They do not huddle. They look to the sideline, get to play just like the Pillow Mustangs do. Got three receivers to the right this time. One receiver wide left. Quarterback surges defense. Mustangs are coming on the blitz. Get caught, not coming. Passes out flat. Got two missed tackles out there. Got some running room. Third missed tackle. Fourth missed tackle. Ball, Ball fumbled out. They're going to they gonna say it down. Gage Gamble did a good job coming back down there. I think they actually got back on the ball, but they were going to say he was down at the 11-yard line. Gage Gamble came all the way back from his nose guard spot to, to make that play, so it's going to be first down at the 11-yard line. I thought we had our turnover we've been looking for. Yep.
They come with two receivers left, two right. Mustangs again fake the blitz. He's throwing it quick over the middle. It's a slant in the middle, touchdown pass. Complete to number six, Patton Martin. Nice throw, nice catch. Mayat for 11 yard touchdown pass. Make it 28-27 with three minutes and 33 seconds to go. It's gonna be a 56 yard scoring drive with 11 yard TD pass. He was pinpoint on that one. He really was, boy. He threw a dart in there and that kid did a nice job of catching that ball. Yep. Good hands on the receiver. That old quarterback's tough, I tell you what. He's a difference maker. Yep. On attempt to extra point is number nine, Jake Davidson. Snaps back, kicks low and no good. It was a bad snap, low go. snap, and he didn't get a good kick on it. So the Mustangs are going to hold a 28 to 27 lead. There we go. I'll swap touchdowns with them now. Yep. Mustangs hold a one-point lead after a missed extra point conversion. Three minutes, 33 seconds to go. Mustangs lead 28-27. Very cold, brisk night here in Meridian on a wet, sloppy field. I tell you, Jody, it's right there at the out-of-bounds line, sidelines on both sides of the field in the middle. There's no grass left yep. on either side of the it field. Really There's several spots in the field, some pretty good holes out there. This field's taking a pretty good beating. It was water standing on it when we got here tonight. I think it rained at like 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon yeah. here. Rain cleared our home area a little earlier. So... We, they moving the the, they're moving the ball to the hash mark quarterback. I mean, the kicker's throwing the ball out. I don't I don't know what they want another ball or what it is. They're saying that ball didn't have enough air in it. I, I don't know, but they're swapping balls. I don't know if the referee felt it and didn't feel like it was enough air. One of their coaches just came over and threw it under the bench. So they're going to set the ball a little to the right of the center of the field this time, a little different than where they've been doing it. They kicked it line drive down the left side of the field a while ago. It's been to the right earlier. He's going to take it just a little bit deeper. He approaches the ball, kicks it. It's a high kick this time. Going to go down and field it by Jaden Simcox at about the 17-yard line. Jaden bounces out to the right side, gets hit hard at the 30-yard line. They're going to spot him just short of 30. Jaden takes it from about the 12-yard line back up to the 30-yard line. He'll be just shy of it, so we'll call it the 30. Jaden Simcox will come left. Breck Bowling right. Jack Reichley's in the backfield deep behind Shane Stevens. Mustangs looking to Coach McCarty to play. DeAndre Hoover. Dwayne Jones, Wade Smith. Yes, Ross Carpenter is still in there at guard. So Shane Stevens rolling to his right, got time to throw, throws it out of bounds. He had no, nobody open, so just threw it away. But Ross Carpenter still play playing Raider, right Raider, guard. And uh, looks like Dwayne Jones may have. Now Dwayne's on the left side, so Noel Woodard was playing some defense early. I, Trying to see if I can see Noah standing on the sideline over there. Arbert's running the computer. His father thinks everything's okay, so just maybe been he was playing some defense or something, giving him some rest. Jacob Bush is up, back moves to the right in motion. Shane Stevens handed to Floyd Melton around the right end, got some running room. They're closing quick out there. Uh, he's going to get up close to the 35-yard line, bring up about third down and about four for the Mustang. They look like they're going to spot him back at the 34, so to bring up third down third and five. Six. 
Big down for the Mustangs here. Third down and they spotted 34. He's got to get to the third and six and scoreboard. Says this here. third and five really looks like Shane Stevens throws it quick. Uh, ball was. I don't know if it's incomplete or intercepted on the ground. It was intended for Brett Bowling. Brett never even looked at it. It's incomplete signal. Down. Yep, I couldn't tell what they was doing. It hit their guys right in the deal. Brett never turned to look for that ball. They come and never want to punt into the wind down here. Shoot yep, team. two minutes, 38 seconds to go. Come on, White. Jaden Simcox back to punt. And it is a brisk wind he's punting into. Yep. Waiting on the snap, snaps back, good snap. Jaden's gonna get the kick away. It's a good high spirally kick going to the right side. Nobody feels it. Mustangs get about a yard or so bounce out of it. The ball's gonna be down somewhere around the 38, 39 yard line. Mustangs need a good defensive stand here. Yep, boy, I tell you what, that's in order for sure. Looks like they're gonna spot it around the I can't see the yards on the other side. I'm gonna call it the 38-yard line, Jody. There you go. I'm not gonna argue with you. It's official. Well, it's official over here, standing right up close to the 39. But I swear that ball is falling a yard off yeah, on the yeah, other no side. If you look it. where the one on this far side is standing. No so. doubt about it. So 38-yard line. Mustangs back in the three-man front. They throw it out in the flat to the right side. Alex Lindsay's out here with him. He misses the tackle. Laws McCool hits him. He breaks the tackle. Going to get up to about the 41, 42 yard line. Pass. Somebody Let's jar that ball Ranzier loose. Hands. Slow swing Ranzier pass Ranzier for Jake Ranzier. Ball's going to be spotted six. close to the 42 yard line. So it's going to be second down and six. The ball's at the 42. It was spotted at the 38. Mustangs going to three man front. Alex Lindsay in coverage. Sam Harris out here in the flat on the left side. Floyd Melton lined up behind him. Floyd moves to the center. Running back slips. Quarterback, quarterback pulls it down. Fakes it to him out there. Running back clip. Quarterback's got some running room. Going to get down to the 40 yard line inside of Mustang territory. Mustangs didn't do a good job of tackling him when he got out there. The quarterback went to his running back slipped. He just pulled it out and brought it around the right end. Does a nice job of running the ball, really and truly. First it was first down and ten inside 40. the Mustang territory, 40-yard line, with a minute and 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Three receivers left. One receiver right. Quarterback looking to throw it out in the flat to the right. The ball's incomplete. A little underthrown. Alex Lindsay was on coverage. Again, they were trying to hit that little short, quick out route there. Bring up second down 10, clock stop with a minute and 27 seconds to go. Entering the game is Logan Lamar. Hit a receiver for him coming out is number nine, Jake Davidson. Three receivers left, one receiver right. Guard and tackle on each side to center. Quarterback got a running back flanging to him. He fakes the middle, throws that little crash out screen. I thought the ball bounced, it did. Yep, They're blowing yep, it incomplete. No it. <clears throat> Pass was intended out in the flat. Uh, ball falls incomplete. I believe it was intended for Peyton Mayotte, the big 6'5 receiver. Ball was at his feet. Had a long way down for that man to it go. sure is. Third down and 10. Ball at the 30 yard line. Three receivers left, one receiver right. Got to running back to the right side of the quarterback. Snap back. He's looking down the middle. It's a screen pass, and number one drops it. He was standing at the 40-yard line all by himself, Oof. and he just dropped the Dodged ball. Bullet there. We did, and we didn't have anybody close to him. So bring up fourth down and 10, the ball at the 40-yard line. Looks like the Raiders are going to send on the punting team. Need to watch for a fake here. Yeah, they have faked right. it several times on the year. Playoff time. Got to play smart here, White. Yep. Find the ball. Find the ball. Yep. Snap back. Quarterback. I mean, punter's going to punt it away. It's to the right side. Nobody over there. The ball's going to bounce. Takes a Raider bounce. Going to bounce down to about the 13-yard line. I thought it was going to bounce on the bound about the 16 or 17, but it bounced back into the play of field. 
And going to go with the 17-yard line. So the Mustangs will take over in a minute and 10 minutes, minute and 10 seconds to go in the third quarter, leading 28-27. Ball at the 13-yard line. We need to get one first down here. Let's turn around and go the other way with the wind at our backs. Yep. Help old Shane Houston out. Yep. So. Mustangs got three in the backfield with John Floyd Dunn operating at the tight end. They hand it to Floyd Melton over the left side. He'd get a little bit of running room back up to about the 15-yard line. Evan Dirksen on the tackle. Second down and eight. Second down and seven, I'd call it. About, well, second down and eight, yeah, ball was at 13. Ball's on the 15. Mustangs again got the three in the backfield. John Floyd done operating it. They fake it to Lake Jaquelli. He drops back and picks up the hill, passes out in the flat to Jacob Bush. He catches it for it's actually going to be about a loss of, on the yard of a play. Jacob was falling backwards to catch it. Uh, wasn't a good thrown pass out there. He had to come back to get the ball, and it's hard to keep your feet under out there yeah, making a quick sure cut. Is. 21 seconds to go, third down and nine. I don't know if the Mustangs will let this clock run out. It's 15 seconds on the clock running. They may wait to get the wind on it. I think I would do Coach McCarty signaling the play. We at eight seconds, seven seconds. We're we're, sla we're snapping at four, three. Uh, they, Lamar jumps off sides. Four the clock runs out. Mustangs didn't snap it. They were fake snapping it. So it's going to be five yard penalty. Clock horn blew. They jumped off sides for the end, though, so should be that. We're going to take a break as they sort this out, or they may put one more play back on the clock. In the I bet that's exactly right. I bet they're going to make us play an untimed down here. Third quarter score. Unless they try to put a few, couple of seconds back on there. 13. Yep. Okay, just got to update Mag Heights and lead Simpson 23 to 13. Assume it'll be an unplay, untimed down here on third down and and three. Third down and four for the Mustang. Big down here. Floyd Melton moves to the left side of Shane Stevens. Deep in the backfield behind him is Lake Kelly. John Floyd Dunn gets a play from DeAndre Hoover's left tackle beside him. John Floyd couldn't see Coach McCarty. They hand it to Floyd Melton on the right side. Floyd's going to get up about the 20-yard line and going to be stopped short. It's going to bring up fourth down and about two. But that will end the third quarter. That's the end of the third quarter. So we're going to take a timeout this quarter break and run our commercials, and we'll be right back. Our possessions count. All right, we're back live rolling. Arbery shutting down their fine sponsors. They brought you the game tonight. If you saw that running across, uh, thank them. Uh, we had to pay the MIAS to be able to bring this game to you tonight, and the sponsors stepped up to lout. Jaden Simcox is on the punt to start the fourth quarter. It's uh, balls on the 20-yard line, about fourth down and two. Good snap back to Jaden. They're getting some pressure on him, but he gets it away a fine punt. Uh, they had nobody back. Ball hits it to 45, takes a Mustang roll back down to about the 37-yard line. Nice punt for the Mustangs. Raiders okay, first, defense, let's go to 10. work. We Don't keep calling on you over and over and over again, but you keep coming through, Diggummit. 43-yard punt for Jaden there. Good to have the wind behind him on that. Yeah, difference maker, sure enough. 
Moves the ball back to the 37 yard line. Big series for the Mustangs on defense here. Yeah, that's right. Mustangs have come out with the three man front again. Gage Gamble operating the nose guard. DeAndre Hoover tackle, Josh Moore to tackle. Got two receivers on each side of the line for him. Quarterback's dropping back to throw. No pressure on him. He throws it downfield, streaking downfield. The number nine caught out of bounds. Yep. Did the official see it that way? Yep, official saw it that way. Okay. In coverage with Gavin okay. Leslie. Yep. So he was out of bounds. Coach in front of us says that too. So their, their coach is operating in front of us on the press box tonight. Bring up second down, Tim. 11 minutes, 42 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Mustangs leading 28 to 27. Three-man front. Got three receivers to the right, one to the left. Got a blitz from the right side. They throw a quick screen out to the left. The guy's got some running room outside. He slips down. At somewhere about the 43 yard line or so. It just doesn't matter what color your jersey is, you can't change direction. Nope, so we're gonna bring up third, third down and four for the Patriots. I mean, the Raiders. I keep wanting to say the Patriots tonight. <laughs> I got Patriots on my mind somehow. And I got it tight in big letters That's so right. I can remember sure what do. it was. I guess I need to read my paper I typed for myself. Third down and four, three receivers to the right. They do not snap it. Mustangs don't jump off sides. They get the signal from the sideline. Quarterback looking out in the flat to the right. Pass is complete. It's going to be first down yardage. Gavin Leslie in coverage. Pass was intended for Peyton Mayock. First down yardage. Just a fine job of hitting their receiver out there. The quarterback's been accurate. The official finally gets something, calls it first down yardage. Side judge waited for the head official to get up. He calls it. The ball's going to be spotted almost at the 48-yard line. It was about 11-yard total deal because they took it at the 37. The ball's almost at the 48. Mustangs need a big defensive play right here. It'd be one of them turnovers you've been looking for, Jody. They hand it to the guy on the right side, met by DeAndre Hoover. And Seth Hollis going to gain about a yard on the play up to the 49. Tackled by DeAndre Hoover. DeAndre did a good job getting off his block and being there to meet him. Second down and nine. Lamar does not operate in the huddle. They look to the coach for the sidelines. He signals in the plays. Their players are getting lined up which way they want to go. They're going to come with two receivers left, two receivers right. The far left receiver is a slot back. Quarterback drops straight back. It's a pass out in the flat. He's looking to throw it down the field. He throws a strike down the field for first down yardage somewhere about the 35-yard line. That's a good catch by the receiver. It was Christian Belk in on the tackle, but he was wide open. Joseph Hutchison to Jacob Partridge. First down, Raiders. 35-yard line. Quarterback had a lot of time to throw there. It looked like he was going to hit the first guy in the flat. He chose not yeah. to do it to wait for his play he to develop open. down the field. Looks like those two have played a little catch before. Yep, Jack Reichley comes in. Got a snap back again. The quarterback fakes it to the left. It was a pump and go. Gavin Leslie got beat, and Gavin breaks up the pass. Uh, incomplete. Gavin got back here and broke up the pass. That's nice. No call. Good call. Uh, Good nice no call. Defensive play by the Don't bring up second down and second down 10. 10. Clock stopped with nine minutes and 48 seconds. Mustangs lead it 28-27. Second down 10, the ball at the 34-yard line inside of Mustang territory. They hand it, running back, got a little running room up the middle, going to nice get close run. down to about the 26-27 yard line. Bring up third down and looks like about four. Got a shout out, hand it out to the left side. Running back's got a lot of room coming around the right side. Gavin Leslie pushes him out of bounds at about the 10 yard line. 
He did. He had a lot of room in a hurry. Got a message in from Maryland, Jody, that said thank you to the sponsors so they could watch the game in Maryland. So we appreciate that message in for it. So ball's going to be placed on the 10-yard line. It'll be first down and goal from the 10. They ran a little sweep around the left side with the quarterback. Gavin did a good job to get out there and catch up with him because he had a lot of running room. Got three receivers right, one left. Come on the blitz on the inside. Quarterback fakes it again. Got some running room diving from the end zone. I can't see, Jody. I don't believe you got two it. Yard, two yard, yard line. So I am lost behind to see a people line. up here on the press box with us. So quarterback does a good job of faking that ball, Jody. Yeah, yeah. He's big enough he can hide that ball a little bit, I think. He, he, he does. does. That good fake because everybody thought deceptive. the running back had it, and he, yeah. he made a good fake on it, did a good job getting outside yeah. to it. Second down goal from the two-yard line. Quarterback just takes it over to the left side. He's almost he's, moving early. He he's was running in. all the way. Touchdown. Touchdown. Somebody's not getting up on the play, Jody. It looks like a Mustang player, is it? And you know, they're, they're calling for the coaching staff out there. I can't see who, who's uh. I can't see who it is. Some of them training staff from Lamar came out from the left side there, and the pillar training staff is out there. So Lamar takes a 33-28 lead with 8 minutes 59 seconds to go. On I, swear, I said I'd swap touchdowns with them, but I meant with us yep. going ahead first every 60, time. They had a 63-yard drive on that one. Laws and cool yeah. down on that play. He's up on his feet walking off. He's trotting off to the sideline, so looks like Lamar goes to try to make up for the extra point. Quarterback did a good job of running that ball there. Yep. Up and down, they're going to they gonna run wide receiver left, wide receiver right. Quick pass to the left, number six, big number six over two, here. Two up backs in the backfield. They run a lineman in there, and they're running back, fine running back. Number one, Dalton Nelson beside the quarterback. Quarterback looking to throw an out route to the right. It's incomplete. It. Yep. It's on a little behind him there on that one. Yep. Sure in coverage out there with Alex Lindsay on that, so it's no good. So the Raiders lead 33 to 28 with eight minutes and 59 seconds to go. Okay, let's take care of business here, White. Yep, Mustangs need to get it and drive it back down and score. We've had two back-to-back -back possessions where we didn't do anything with it. One time we took it over to 37, one time on the 13. Certainly had our opportunities. Yep. So we've moved the ball good at times tonight. We need to come back out and move it here again That's with exactly a five-point right. deficit to take back the lead. Hard field to cut on tonight. Very yeah, wet, very right. sloppy. So, but uh, Mustangs are huddled up around Coach Beagle. I'm sure they haven't replaced Laws and McCool on the kick. Laws comes out there, but they're sending Laws back to the bench. Yeah, I just seen him hang around and be ready to go on defense. <clears throat> yep. Trying to see who they put in normally and where Laws plays. It may be John Floyd Dunn came in to replace him where he plays. Yep. They've got the ball set up in the middle of the field this time. The kicker's got his normal six-yard drop, maybe a little more straight back than he was on the side earlier. He signals to his line he's ready. He's kicking into the wind. It's a low line drive kick field at the 25 yard line uh, by Alex Lindsay. Alex is going to get out over the 36, 37 yard line. So good run back by Alex. Low I line like drive. having the ball in his hands on yep. the turn. I really do. He, he can be shifty. So the ball's at yep. the 37 yard line. Fourth quarter score, Mag Heights 23, Simpson 20. 
update on the Mag Heights symptom score. The PA system just said 23 to 20 Mag Heights leading. Breck Boland's out at wide receiver right. They fake it to Floyd Milton, throw it out in the flat for Jaden Simcox, and it comes off his hand. Shane Houston takes a big lick in the backfield. You don't usually see Jaden miss many of those, but that one's a little inside screen that didn't just didn't come home, come clean there. Mustangs look to Coach McCarty for play, bring up second down and 10 with eight minutes and 49 seconds to go. Noel Woodard's back in at the right guard. DeAndre Hoover left tackle, Dwayne Jones. Hit, hit the right tackle and guard. Uh, Hunter Taylor to right tackle. Hey, hands to Floyd Melton over the left side. Got some Stay running up, room, Floyd. breaks a tackle. Got some running room, gonna get up first to midfield. Down. The first down yard is gonna probably spot him about the 49 yard line, maybe midfield. Floyd did a good job breaking a the tackle there and getting he more sure yards. Did. That was great play, great play. Ball spotted right at nice midfield. Melton, first down and 10 with eight Leland minutes and 40 Mosley. seconds to go. And it's a first down for the Mustangs. Ball sits right at midfield. Chains are set. Official starts the play clock. Clock's running with eight minutes and 39 seconds. Chain Stevens waiting on snap. Fakes it to Floyd. Hits Alex, uh, Jack Reichley, and Jack's feet come out from under him, and he's going to gain about six on the play. Be down the ball, be spotted down the 44 yard line inside of Lamar territory. Jack having a hard time keeping those feet under him. Yeah, he, I he, tell you he, what, it's just. Cut, uh, he tries to make it, just won't stay there. He had the right idea, he just can't can't help but plant that foot and try to change the direction. It's yep. just not going to happen tonight, though. Nothing wrong with a gain of six yards. Shane Steven looking to pass it, having to pull it down, rolling to the right now. Breck Bowling turns back out to the right side. Breck pulls it in nice. at the 19-yard line. Great Ball's job. Breck did a good job of breaking his route back to the outside as Shane Stevens came to the outside to do it. So the ball spotted just inside the 19-yard line. First down and 10 Mustangs. Good scramble. Good job finding the open receiver. And good job, Breck, catching that ball. Yeah, he was wanting to go left, so Breck definitely wasn't, Breck wasn't his primary receiver. Alex Lindsay moves back to the left side of the ball, being three in on the left side. Uh, Jaden Simcox wide left. Jack Reichley, Alex Lindsay in the slot. Alex Tanksley's in the backfield beside Shane Stevens. Wade Smith operating at center. Shane Stevens looks to throw, completes it out to Jack Reichley. They got a guy comes and get him. Jack still fighting for yardage. He's going to get down inside the 15 to about the 14 yard line. So we're going to gain about five on the play. Bring up second down and five for the Mustangs. Clock running with seven minutes, 35 seconds going in the fourth quarter. Stevens Mustangs trailing by five play. points, 33 to 28. Jack second down, five. Mustangs break huddle with three receivers on the right. Alex Tankley, they hand it to Alex Tankley. He's got a little bit of running room on the right side. Gets hit hard, fights for yardage. Going to get down to about the 12-yard line. Going to bring up third down and about... Three for the Mustangs. They closed quickly on him there. Here comes Floyd back in. I thought he was limping a little bit over there on the sidelines, but he's coming back in. Yep. Mustangs send three receivers to the left. Got a wide one wide out to the right, being Breck Bowling. They're looking to Coach McCarty for the signal. 15 seconds on the play clock. Third down and three for the Mustangs. Shane Stevens hands it to Floyd Melton. He cuts it back on the left side in the middle. He's going to get down to about the 10-yard line. Going to be about a yard short of the first down. Had a yeah. little hole, and it closed quick, so it's going to bring up fourth down and one for the Mustangs with six minutes, 28 seconds, clock running in the fourth quarter. Ben Trailing five Ryan points. Awfully big stop. play right here, Bill. Fourth yep, it is. Yard, maybe a little more. See what the Mustangs can reach down and grab dig deep for this one. Ball yep. Big oh, down for the here. Mustangs here. Fourth down and one. Trailing five points with six minutes to go in the game. Down at the 10-yard line. Ford Milton steps over to Shane Stevens. Make sure they got the play right. Shane gets a snap. Shane takes it up in the middle. Shane's going to be real first close down. depending on the spot. I think it's first down yard is where yeah, the official is running to. 
So it looks like it's going to be first down at about the 14, I mean, nine yard line. So it'll be first down and goal, depending on the spot. But where he was running, it sure looked like it. I'm sure they will measure in the playoffs like this, but it sure looked like he got it to me. Yep. They're going to bring the chains on for a measurement. Stock the clock with five minutes, 56 seconds to go. I tell you what, going to be close, Bill. It is. Uh, it's not, really can't it's not as far as I thought he had gotten. They're bringing the chains on, so we'll see. First down. Official had to look real hard down at it. Woo. But his first down yard, his first down and goal from the nine-yard line for the Mustangs mm -hmm. with five minutes and 56 seconds to go. Holy smokes. I thought that was going to go the other way, Bill. I got to tell you the truth. When they, when they cleared all the players out there wearing the ball stuck sitting, I thought so too, Jody. But he, the official had to bend down to look at it. It was that close. First down and goal from the nine. Mustangs have got tight end package set back in. They hand it to Floyd Melton on the right side. He's fighting down to about Great the three-yard line. Run. Going to bring up second down and go from the three for the Mustangs. Good hard inside run by Floyd Melton there. Let's don't score too quick. <laughs> I take it anytime time we can get it, Joe. I know. You're exactly right. <laughs> we need exactly to get back right. ahead. Floyd Melton taking it on the right side. Got nowhere to go. Going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Lake Kelly started right and then went back left. Uh, I, I don't know if it was planning to be an option play or whatever. Third, goal. Third and goal from the two yard line. The Mustangs the gained about a half a yard on that play. Third down and two from the, third down and goal from the two. Shane Stevens waiting on the snap. He fakes it to Floyd Melton, takes it over the left side. Shane's gonna hit. And uh, he's in for the touchdown. Hands are up by the official. So the Mustangs are going to go up 34 to 3 with 458 to go. Scores a touchdown for the Mustangs. Mustangs are sending on. Looks like they're going to go for it. Uh, they're going to keep going for the two point conversion. Mustangs have got three receivers left, one receiver right. Shane Stevens going to operate at quarterback. Same offensive line that started the game. Floyd Melton's in the backfield beside Shane. Two point conversion attempt. Shane's looking to his left to throw. Got some running, having a flush out of the pocket, running toward the corner, throws the end zone. Two point conversion. And also, Jack that's complete Reichle to Jack Reichley. Jack did a good job Jack coming back as Shane and rolled job. out. He so sure the did. Mustangs go up by three points, 36-33. Those two did an outstanding job on that play. The receiver and quarterback both Shane really, bought, really looked good. Shane bought his time rolling out, so you got a 67-yard 67 67-yard 67 drive and a Shane Stevens two-yard run for a touchdown. They got an awfully good kicker, Lamar does, but I tell you what, he's going to be having to kick into a wind. and uh, Yep, in the mud. If it comes to that. So, two-yard run by Shane Stevens for the touchdown. 67-yard drive and a two-point conversion to number 22, Jack Reichley. Shane Stevens did a good job of extending the play, rolling out to his left. Jack did a good job coming back from the back corner of the end zones to catch it. So we do have the wind that are back on this that's kickoff. Need, that's right. We need in this the, wind again on a kickoff. In the first quarter, we uh, kicked it in the end zones every time they are on them. So maybe we can do that again here and prevent any kind of big run. Make them start at the 20. Jaden Simcox to kick off. The they stand time. three guys across at the 10-yard line again where they've lined it up all night. Jaden Simcox approaching the ball. Good kick. Going down the left side, going to be fielded at about the seven or eight yard line. Guy bringing it back to the middle field, tries to cut back outside. Going to be hit hard at about the 16 yard line. So four minutes and 50 seconds to go. Mustangs lead by three points. Lamar will take over. It looks like the ball is going to be spotted close to the 18 yard line. One, 
to the yep, 18 yep. yard line. Mustangs need a good defensive stand here. Get that ball back and take it methodically That's back down exactly the field right. and put another board on there and separate this thing by two scores with the Mustangs exactly are looking right. for right here. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go. Quarterback looking to throw again, a go route. And a quarterback rolls to the right. He's going to get hit from behind and be the first time he got sacked tonight. They look for that down and go route again. So bring up. He gets about two yards on the play, so bring up second down and eight. Four minutes and 24 seconds clock running. They've got three receivers right. All right, defense. Quarterback throws it out in the flat, complete to number six, got some running room. Gavin Leslie's going to tackle him at about the 28-yard line inbounds, but I believe it'll be first down yardage. I just said. Clock's running with four minutes to go. Officials coming over to look at it. He hasn't stopped the clock yet. The ball's just shy of the 28. Uh, chain guy shows third down and foot. The guy head officials calls him first down. I don't know why they don't measure that one, Bill. That's, a, you know. Yeah. Every all the way up. If it, that, that was just too close to call, I would have thought. But yeah, all the way on the other side of the field. He's got a better view than me. Ball was on the 18 to start with, and the ball's. Just shy of the 28. I couldn't tell exactly the 18 sure, so it may have been. They fake it in the middle. Quarterback gets hit, but the screen is out in the flat. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. And finally, That's no, he's back up on his feet sure. going. Again, going to make it up to midfield. Oh, my goodness. First down, Raiders. First down at the 50-yard line. He broke three or four tackles out there on that side. Quarterback took a pretty good shot on that play. He's a little slow getting up, coming to the line, but he's walking up, gathering his, his senses and getting ready to snap the next play. Three minutes and 34 seconds. Clock stops. They get the chain set. Official starts the play clock. And game clock is running. Mustangs lead 36-33. First down 10 at midfield. Got three receivers left. Quarterback fakes in the middle, and, and oh, Josh Moore oh, oh. had him in the backfield. Lost tackle. We missed another tackle. He's going to get down to about the 45-yard line. Nice hard, Josh Moore hard, had to run him back in the quarterback. Let them both get away, and then we had another missed tackle. Linebacker coming up, so he gets down. Going to spot it close to the 45-yard line, so a gain of five. Second down and five for Lamar. Three minutes to go. Clock running. Second down Tough look. four. Here we go, defense. Knock that ball loose. Let's put it on the ground. Quarterback really. looking to throw out in the flat. He's got time to throw. Get rolling out to his right. Look down the middle. The guy's wide open. Ball is going to be caught at about the 30 yard, 31 yard line. First down yardage for Lamar. Hutchison. Nice job of catching the ball. It was good catch, good time. Yep. Quarterback had a lot of time to throw it. So first down 10 at the 31 yard line. Clock running. Clock stopped to move the chains. Two minutes, 43 seconds to go. Official starts the clock. Quarterback's got three receivers to the right. Again, he hands it to the left side. We got two linebackers that fall down. Gavin Lenz, Floyd Melton gets up and trips him up. He's going to get down inside the 20-yard line. Looks like down to the 17 or 18. Two linebackers coming out that side just tripped. Yep. Nice run by Brooks. First, first down and 10. Ball's going to be spotted just inside the 20-yard line, somewhere around the 19-yard line. Lamar walks up to the line of scrimmage, going to set three receivers to the right. Quarterback fakes it in there, pulls it out. We miss him in the backfield. He gets around the guy outside, going to be run out of bounds, out of bounds. inside the 15-yard line. Joseph Hutchinson keeps it himself. He does a good job reading it and pulling it out at the last minute. Every time he, he does yep. a real good job he on that. Sure does. So he's going to be spotted. Looks like the ball is going to be spotted somewhere around the 13 yard line, maybe 14. Going to be second down and four. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Quarterback looking to throw to his right. And the cornerback just falls. 
out there, and the pass is thrown a little out in front of the back, and he falls trying to catch it too. He was wide open, and cornerback out there, uh, Alex Lindsay had fallen, slipped the fall when the guy made his cut. Third down and four, two minutes, 21 seconds to go in the game. Clock stopped on the incomplete pass. Entering the game for them is William Lamar, senior. It's their normal leading tackler, but has uh, 22 receptions on the year. Mustangs come with a blitz. They throw an inside screen. We get, it, we get him in the backfield. No, he breaks loose. If we hit him again, going to knock him back to about the 15-yard line. Going to spot him at the 14 for progress. So it's going to be fourth down and five with two minutes and five seconds clock running. Big down for the Mustangs here. Fourth down and five. Both teams still have three timeouts remaining. Fourth down and five. That's sure keep an eye on that quarterback, I believe. Yep. He's got three receivers to the right. Play clock's at 20 seconds. Quarterback's looking. He's running the throwback to him, and it's a pass complete to him out there. We had a back, had him, and dropped him. Just a, They pitched it to the back, and they threw it back to the quarterback for a touchdown with a minute and 37 seconds to go. That's a nice play call. It was. I'll tell you what. So they go up three points. Down there. Nice play, Lamar. They uh, did a good job. We had a backer with him, and the back slipped down. He was wide open and took it in for the touchdown. So an 82-yard touchdown drive there with a throwback to the quarterback for a touchdown deal. Touchdown, Raiders. They're going to go for two. With, with a three-point lead. Quarterback pulls it down, throws it out in the flat. He, I think, is in. Ooh, so close. Yep, I think the ball across the goal line, so they go up by five. Coach McCarty's out on the field cheering up his fans. The Raiders go up 41 to 36 with a minute 37 to go in the game. We scored with less than this to open the That's half, exactly Jody, right. so we, we sure can did. do it again. We sure did. It took 60 seconds first time. Took 60 round. seconds the first time. It's all it take again. Got three timeouts left. Both teams have three timeouts. Been a heck of a ball game here tonight. It really has. On a Been wet, muddy exciting. field. Both teams really worked hard, played hard, played well. A lot of knockout punches thrown. Everybody's gotten back up off the mat and gone at it. We'll yeah, that's see if right. The, See if the Mustangs can get up here off the mat and come back down. Got a minute and 37 seconds to go with three timeouts. They've only kicked one ball in the air tonight on the kickoff. All the rest of them have been lying drives down the middle of the field or to the edge of the field. They've got squiver here. They've got the ball in the middle of the field. Kicker signals to his lineman. He's ready to go. Kicks away. It's a low line drive kick. It hits our lineman on the foot, and we get back and get it at about the 31-yard line. Falling on it with Laws McCool. Looked like it hit Ross Carpenter in the foot, didn't it? Could have. Very, it was awfully close, sure enough. So, anyway, covered at the 31-yard line. Mustangs have got to take it 69 yards to pay dirt. With a minute and 37 seconds to go. Help but think that kicker was aiming for a big lineman right there, trying to ricochet yep. it off of him, probably. Far side. Shane Stevens gets a snap. He looks to throw it to Breck Bowling out here to right. Breck's hit. Going. He's going. Whistle blows. He's going to stay in bounds. The ball's going to be up to about the 37, a gain of six yards. Minute 20 seconds, clock running. Ball's at the 37 yard line. Shane Stevens waiting on the snap. He's looking to throw right. Throws it out there to Jack Reichley. Jack breaks a tackle. We're gonna get first down yardage. That'll stop the clock and we'll get on the line of scrimmage. Clock stop with a minute and six seconds to go. Ball's gonna be spotted at the 42 yard line. 
Mustang's on the line. Official starts the clock. Shane Stevens waiting on the snap. He gets it. Ball drops the ball. He rolls out to the right, looking downfield. Eventually, just gonna have to throw it out of bounds. Throws it almost in the stands. Okay, that's all right. He did a good job picking yep. that ball yep. up after he dropped it. Stops the clock with 56.8 yep. seconds to go. Mustangs looking to Coach McCarty for the play. Second down, 10, ball on the 42-yard line, maybe 43. Shane Stevens surveys the defense. They send the back of rushing this time. Shane throws a screen. Floyd Melton breaks a tackle, turns it back inside. Floyd's going to get first down yardage. First down's right. The ball's going to be at the 45-yard 40, line inside a Raider territory. Stops the clock with 47.2 seconds to go. Mustangs up on the ball. Official starts the clock. Shane Stevens waiting on the snap. Snaps back. Shane looking downfield, having a roll to his right. Rolling outside the pocket to the right. Throws it out of bounds. Down here to stop the clock. 36.4 seconds. Second down 10. Ball at the 46-yard line inside a Raider territory. Raiden McCool gets the ball in the dress. They're throwing it out to the side. He's got a drive ball in. Has a big towel with him. Official starts the play clock. Mustangs get up over the ball to 46 yard line inside of Raider territory. Trip to the left. Raiders are going to jump off sides, make yep. it second down and five. Yep. Offsides against the Raiders. 36.4 seconds to go. Ball's now at the 45-yard, 40-yard line inside Raider territory. Mustangs need to take it 41 yards. Base is not quite to the 40, so 41 yards for pay dirt. Bringing a quarterback in here and play center field. Yep. Second down. And I hadn't five. seen him all night, Bill. I don't know if I've just missed him or. I hadn't either. That's a little shocker there. Shane Stevens is looking to his right. Shane Stevens gets hit immediately in a sack. Timeout. Now you got to take a timeout. Shane has got snapped and back at the 47 three, yard line. Benjamin Just came right up the middle and got him. I couldn't see it from the guy standing in front of me, but I looked up and there was a guy right in Shane's face as he got the ball. Yep. Dry field, he'd have go, gotten away. He broke away from him. And yep, 29. 29.9 seconds to go. Going to be third down and long. Ball spotted back at the 47, so that's four and three, seven. Third down and 17. So we'll get two downs to get the deal. 29 seconds to go in the game. The Mustangs trail by five points, 41 to 36. Come down to Lamar and play the heck of a ball game tonight. Lamar is yep. the two-time defending state champion. We'd love to take them off their feet here on their home field. and. Get the right to go play for the state championship. We got two plays to pick up 17 yards and 29 seconds to, to pick up 53 yards. That's Again, it in a nutshell there, Bill. Yep, Jody Simcox is on the mic with me tonight. Bill Long, Arbor Woodard running our computer. Shres Chala on the, on the camera. So Simpson did beat Mag Heights 27-23, I got to notice. Shane Stevens is looking to his right. Oh, Shane's going to get hit again for the loss. Coming from the outside was number 55, Shelton Gray. Going to drop him back at the 39-yard line with 23.9 seconds to go. Shelton got around the outside of the tackle and just slammed on Ch yeah, Shane Stevens Shane back. Yeah, saw him coming. I... No, nope, he came from his, his backside there. Yeah, when he turned to escape, there he was. Yep. So, go, going to bring up ball spade at the 39-yard line. The Mustangs have got to get to the 45-yard line, in 35-yard line inside a uh, Raider territory for the first down. Got 23.9 seconds and one timeout left. School board reads three timeouts left, but that's the second timeout taken. So, it's only one timeout left for the Mustangs. Mustang's got to have a big play. Fourth down, shoot team. 
comes down to this, I guess. Yep. Shane Stevens is out warming his arms up, motion him, getting ready, getting ready to throw this ball. We got to have some yardage downfield. It's a, it's a hard way to break a tackle and keep going or cut here, make a cut. You need a big pass somewhere down the down the field. Yep. And defense probably knows that's going to be the case. Yep. Shane Stevens got some time, throws it down the middle, throws it high, going up to get it, jump ball. It falls incomplete. Yep. Hits the ground there. Jack Reichley in. And Jaden Simcox were there. We had three receivers there. And Paul's going to complete. So 15.8 seconds to go in the game. Raiders are going to take over the ball and win this ball game. Nothing the Mustangs can do to stop the clock. One time out left. But all they got to do is take two snaps and it's over. With a 41 to 36 lead. There's more than they, they thought they were going to get tonight. Fan game. So, I got a mid-beat mag heist 27 to 13. 